on the Hawkeye Sports Network. From Learfield, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. Pioneer combines cutting-edge research with one of the largest local testing programs in the industry to help farmers succeed. Pioneer, what's next happens here. Also brought to you by High V. Score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. By University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. And by Iowa Corn. You might think Iowa just grows corn, but but the truth is, why are people saying Iowa. you yeah to you by Iowa's corn farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and the Iowa Corn Promotion Board? Now, welcome to Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. 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 100% of your donation goes directly to game-changing cancer research. Victory over cancer is there for the taking by you. Donate at v.org because today's cancer research is tomorrow's victory. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. AM 800 KXIC Iowa City. Listen on the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. Welcome in once more to the T-Mobile Center in downtown Kansas City as we are into the final day of the 2024 NCAA Wrestling Championships. Formats on the floor, nothing but All-Americans wrestling today with the chance to finish as high as third place. And then tonight we will have the championship bouts. Big implications in the team race as we come into today's session. Penn State has locked up the team title with 148 points. Michigan sitting in second with 64 and a half. The Hawkeyes have 60. Arizona State and Iowa State tied for fourth with 59 and a half. Cornell 58 and a half. Nebraska 57 and a half. Ohio State 57. Oklahoma State 55. Virginia Tech at 53. 11 and a half points separating second from 10th. And uh, we're going to see a lot of movement back and forth here today. And Mark Ironside, we talk about it all the time. These are instances that it's hard to come back today if you lose in the semifinals. It's been a long road back for some of these guys if you lost earlier in the tournament. But a lot of personal pride, a lot of personal opportunity, and a lot of important matches for this team race all coming down here this morning. Yeah, lots of big matches here this morning. Starting off right out of the gate here. Uh, well, not right out of the gate, but, well, I mean, if it is for Iowa State, every match is crucial. Iowa State's got Evan Frost coming up here. And then a uh, big head-to-head match with Iowa State with uh, Real Woods and Ekamindia. Penn State has something to do. They have an opportunity to do something that hasn't been done since 1997. They could set the all-time scoring record here at the NCAA tournament. They got 148 points. I think the record is, like, 172 or something like that. I'm not really sure. Somewhere in there, yeah. But they could definitely do it between the wrestlebacks and winning a few matches in the finals tonight and get some bonus points. So I don't know if that really stands true, seeming how it's a different point system now. Um, so you're not really comparing apples <laughs> to apples. If you were getting three-point takedowns and four-point near falls when you wrestled in that tournament in 97, would you have scored a lot more points? A lot more points. And you got to figure that up as a whole entire and team. You also could have gotten takedowns on the edge of the mat instead of, if one foot goes out of bounds, ah, we're going to stop the action and go back to the center. Yeah, I mean, if, if you know, you had to have both feet in bounds, and there's so many more ways, and, and you can score so many more points now versus back then. So it's not really comparing apples to apples, but at the end of the day, they could break the all-time point record. So um, that's big for Penn State and, and doing something that hasn't been done since 1997, which was Gables last year up at, U, at UNI. So uh, a lot of... A lot of things could happen here today, and you're going to see, uh, like we talked about, that second place through 10th place is crazy with that team race, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch that that scoreboard just completely start changing. Um, and then it's going to come down a lot of the finals matches tonight too. 
Arizona State has two finalists. Michigan has two. Two. And uh, so they got Davison and um, Gomez. Gomez. Both portal transfers there. Um, yeah, I mean, you should start. I mean, people should start looking at, like, the portal transfers and how many of these kids are making finals and changing teams and stuff. But since the landscape of college athletics has completely changed. So I looked underway. at it. Jason Bryant has notes. Iowa, Michigan, and Penn State all have four guys that have transferred in from somewhere else, the most in the country. So you've put Teske in that position. You look at Caliendo and Frannick. And Real Woods. And then Real Woods. But you also look, I mean, Caliendo's going to, we hope, be here for a couple more years. Teske's been here for a few years. Woods was here for a couple of years. It wasn't just a, one here, year. here's a one-year Let's bring somebody in and go with it. So, <clears throat> but that's what you got to do to win. I mean, that's. I mean, if if you don't want to win, then don't play the game. So, and that's unfortunately that's the world we live in now, and that's where we're at. And it takes a lot of money. It, a lot of money. Can you imagine how much money that Michigan spent on De Agostino and uh, Griffith and Gomez and Davison, and there's somebody else in there too. I mean, and then I mean, it's, that's a lot of money in one year. Like, yeah. Where do these schools come up with all this money and stuff? And the thing is, is people want to win, and that's where why Michigan's in second place right now. On the mats right now, consolation semifinals. Winners will wrestle for third place. Losers will wrestle for fifth. These are guys that have wrestled through the wrestlebacks, and they are taking on guys that lost in the quarterfinals or in the semifinals last night. Matt one, Eric Barnett of Wisconsin taking on the number two seed Luke Stanich of Lehigh. Real Woods is on deck on Matt number one. Matt two, Caleb Smith of Nebraska against Anthony Noto of Lock Haven. That's the 15 against the 12 that could finish as highest third at 125. On Matt number three at 133 pounds, Ryan Crookham, the two seed from Lehigh, takes on the eight seed Evan Frost of Iowa State. And on Matt number four, the seven seed Nasir Bailey of Little Rock taking on the five seed Dylan Ragason of Michigan. Just four mats on the floor in a straight line, right to left, one, two, three, and four. And going to be some fun matchups here, and would love to see how that scoreboard's going to shake out as we head into the finals tonight. Hawkeyes matchups, we just have two guys wrestling initially here, as Real Woods will take on Anthony Ekamendia of Iowa State. Michael Caliendo will take on Isaac Olnick of Oklahoma State. Both of those were rematches from dual meets earlier this year. Woods winning 4-1 to in sudden victory. Caliendo winning 7-2 to down in Stillwater. As down there, first takedown of the morning goes to Crookham of Lehigh against Evan Frost of Iowa State. The other thing I think about, too, is that record setting, you know, setting a record this year. I mean, well, you know, they lost, Penn State lost RBY last year. And they didn't have an 84. They didn't have Truex last year. So, I mean, I know that they would have scored points with probably whoever they had in, in Messenbrink, you yeah. know. But you take away some of those points from the portal. The portal didn't exist then. It's just you're not really comparing apples to apples at all whatsoever from a system, point scoring system in there. There was no neutral danger. There was no uh, two count for a near fall, you know. There was no four point near fall for a four count. You know, it was yeah. either a five count and a three point or a three count and a two point. Yep. And there wasn't three point takedowns. I mean, there's so many more extra ways to score points now. It's like it's, they're not even on the, close to being on the same level. I mean, just like we talked about yesterday, looking at, I mean, more than double the number of tech falls this year versus last year. And that's simply for the fact that takedowns and back points are getting you a lot more points. I was just talking to referee Kurt Frost downstairs um, <clears throat> on the concourse or downstairs in the tunnel or whatever, and you're talking about, you thought, it asked me what I thought about this tournament so far and how it's going and this and that. And I was just like, you know, these rules, boy, I'll tell you what, they need to change. And he's like, what? Talk to me. What do you want? What, do you, what are you hearing? And it's just telling about, like, the out-of-bounds rule and, and how you don't call it when on the edge like you'd call if it was in the center of the match. And the stalling, you don't call it in the first 30 seconds of a match like if it was the last 30 seconds of a match. And just because someone's behind, now you got to call the other guy for stalling. And you know what he brought up to me? The Drake Ayala match last night when he got dinged for that first one right away. There's no way he deserved that stall call right away. Yeah. 
And he's like, in his mind, he's like, what are you, what are you doing? You know, I mean, like, what, what, if, what if he actually does have a stall call later or needs one or something, you know? And it's like he's been dominating the aggress of this entire match, and now all of a sudden just because the guy's behind, he's got to come at him. It's like, dude, where were you the last five minutes of this yeah. match, you know? Why and, weren't you calling one on the opponent for not being aggressive? Right. Like what, like what he referred to as a traditional stall call. Barnett getting near falls down there against Stanich. It's going to give him a 9-1 to one lead in the second period. Crookham still leads Frost 3-0. to zero. Ragason and Bailey 0-0 zero, zero in the second period. I wonder who chose neutral there. That's a, that's a big match for Michigan right there. Bailey with double unders on Ragason right now. But Ragason clears out of it. Lachlan McNeil. Is not wrestling today. What is that, 41? Yeah. So Nebraska is going to get two bonus points right there because Brock Hardy is going to get into the third place bout by medical forfeit. And McNeil will drop down to fifth place, so whoever loses between Woods and Ekamendia will get two bonus points for that match. Not sure if he didn't make weight or if he got dinged up yesterday. Just pulled up track, though, and up top it said Brock Hardy, Lachlan McNeil. Well, they haven't wrestled yet, so something's happened there. At number one is where Real Woods waits. Barnett leads Stanich nine to one in that one. So what do you get for advancement there, Woods? If he beats Ekamendia, what do you get? It's just one. You get three and a half. Oh, well, three and a half plus bonus. So that's five and a half points for Nebraska right there. Because you get three points. Because right now the worst these guys can do is sixth place. You get three points. That's going to get you. Very. You go from sixth to fourth, that gives you three points, plus you get a half point for advancement. And then in the third, fifth, and seventh place bouts, you get one point. There's no more advancement. You just get one point for placing, plus any bonus that you get. Bailey gets Take some down. near falls over there. I think he got a reversal or maybe two sets of near falls. Ragason must have gone down. And he must have got two sets of near falls because he's up 4-0 to zero now, plus he has riding time. 4-1 to one is the lead for Crookham over Frost. Noto leads Smith 1-0. to zero. Wisconsin's Barnett will wrestle for third. It's a long tournament. I... Went to write Barnett in, and I just said Wisconsin's Barnett, so I start writing Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Scribble that out. Start it over. He had a major. Yeah. Here comes Real Woods taking on Anthony Ekamendia of Iowa State. 4-1 sudden victory win for Real in Ames. Ekamendi has come on pretty well this year. For Crookham still leading Frost of Iowa State 4-1. to one. What was this in the duel? 4-1 sudden victory. Nice shot by Real Woods right out of the gate. It's into that leg. Ekamendi sat to his butt, locked around our torso, actually through the crotch, trying to roll us through. Real still hanging on to that leg. Ekamendi now trying to kick in to kick away. We just spend way too much time in these positions, Stephen. Way too much time. Real trying to cut off. Now he's locked through the crotch as Ekamendia is locked on our leg. Stepped over one of his. Trying to pull that leg free. And probably going to see a stalemate. Real trying to somehow find a way to get that right leg pulled out. Ekamendia holding it. The ref letting this go, though. 
Real. Trying to sit back over. Coming up over the head, maybe looking for a cradle. And there they stalemate it. <laughs> right when Real was about ready to get the cradle. So a minute gone by, no score. Ragason did get beat. So he will drop down and wrestle for fifth. Frost got beat too. So rematch in the third place bout. Crookham beat Bailey in the quarters. Now they'll wrestle for third. Frost and Raguson will wrestle each other for fifth. Kazak of Penn State against Ridge Lovett coming out on mat number three. Mat number four is Cardenas of Stanford against Keller of Ohio. Real Woods changes levels again, gets caught into a front headlock, now goes to that two-on-one, tries to pull that all the way down, looks to step around uh, behind, but he couldn't quite hang on to it. Leg. Reshoots nice for the shot. Nice job. He's elevating it this time. Comendia Keep hopping around on his left leg. Real Woods runs it up high, him tries to trip Keep him, him down. In. Keep him in. Keep him in. They slide out of bounds. How? How do we go out of bounds there? We can, all we got to do is walk backwards. Yeah. The, it's like we pushed him out of bounds. Noto gets a takedown and sudden victory to beat Smith. Forty-five seconds left, first period for Real Woods. Akamendia looking for a low single attempt there. Touched the foot momentarily, but didn't follow through any further. Frantic up already. Uh, Caliendo. Caliendo. Taking on. Cornell won that match over there. It was like a super. 57, I think it was. Was that Shapiro? Shapiro? Yeah, had to have been. I don't know if it was a forfeit or. It was a fall. So Caliendo out against Olnick. Olnick in on a shot. Head to the inside, but Caliendo gets the hips back. First period comes to an end for Real Woods, no score. Kazak takes down Ridge Lovett to take a 3-0 lead. Woods starts down to begin the second period. No score in that one. Real out quickly for the escape. Ekamendia. With his Cuban background, really more of a freestyle leg attacks. He's not as good in the riding game, but he's definitely gotten much better there. Caliendo a shot from a ways away, somehow able to suck that leg in, pulls it up. Another shot by Real Woods as Ekamendia dives over and grabs our ankle. Both Hawkeyes trying to finish shots right here. Caliendo has it. On the hip, and then Olenek reaches down and trips oh, him man. down and takes us down. That was our shot. Man, we had that leg up, too. I cannot believe we got taken down there like that. Real Woods, again, right on the edge, unable to hang on. And they go out of bounds, head back to the center. We, just, we, we struggle at finishing takedowns for sure. Definitely an area for improvement. There's Ekamendia in on a shot on Real here. Double unders to a bear hug. Yeah, he's trying to throw Real Woods, and Real Woods catches Ekamendia, th basically throws himself to his back. Finally, Real Woods was issued a takedown there. He got the leg in, and he's on top. So Woods leads 4-0 to zero now. Stalemate, fresh start from the center. <clears throat> Not sure what Ekamendia was thinking going for a big throw like that. This early in the match when he was only down by a point, it was going to be his choice in the third period. We'll take it, though. Yep. Had an issue with the clock over there. They get it corrected. Caliendo, Caliendo to his feet, out for the escape. I like Caliendo. He's really sugar-footing, moving his feet well. 
Means his head's right. Shot by Olnick, reshot there by Caliendo. Can't get through. Tries his boot scoop, but couldn't penetrate with it. Nice slide by by Olnick, but Caliendo squares back up with him. How this one go in the duel? 7-2, Caliendo. 4-0, Woods leads going into the third period. Kazak just gets another takedown on Ridge Lovett as there's Caliendo in on a shot right on the edge of the mat. Trying to pull him back in. Watch your own legs. That's how you got taken down last time. There he pulls him in, gets up there's over the three. hips and gets the three. Ecomendia must have chose neutral in the third period. Takes a shot. Real Woods front headlock trying to get around behind. Ecomendia throws that right arm out and stops him. Now Ecomendia going to an underhook. Real Woods up 4-0. to zero. Riding time not a factor. 35 seconds left. Caliendo leads 4-3 to three in the first period. See if he can get a ride out here. Real Woods is going to give up a stall point. I can feel it. Over on the edge. He circles back in a little bit. But sir, continue to keep circle. Circle yeah. to your butt is literally to the center. Yeah. Not just circle. There you go. Not just a little bit, but circle all the way in. Put your opponent to the edge. Caliendo has Olnick flattened out. Here we rides go. him out. 4-3 lead as we go to the second. Ekamindia really trying for something big on Real Woods. Real Woods has gone on to the defense. 40 seconds left in that one. Caliendo starts down to begin the second period. Circle in. Come on. He's going to get dinged. Throws an underhook in. But use it. Don't. He's standing around on the edge on purpose. He's playing the game right now. Caliendo to his feet. Hand control out for the escape. There is the stall call on Real Woods. Head back to the center with 13 seconds left. Minute 40 to go. Second period. Caliendo on top. 5-3. Well, it's going to do it. Real, Real Woods will win by a score of 4-0. to zero. And he will move on to wrestle for third place yet this session. Three and a half points for the Hawkeyes. Brings us within a point of Michigan. Caliendo, a minute to go. Second period on top, 5-3. to three. 19 seconds built towards Caliendo's riding time. We'll make a shot from a ways away. We reshoot. Almost got to the leg on that. Come up with the front headlock. Stale made it. 46 to go. Let's see Crook and Bailey. Ekamendia goes down there. Real. And Ekamendia both left with their leg bands on. One forty nine, both matches going on right now. Parco leads Waters three to two. Kazak leads Lovett six to one. Shapiro of Cornell against Andonian of Virginia Tech. It was Cardenas of Cornell at one forty nine that got the er, Boy Kasich is just he is really controlling Lovett. Lovett just has not had a good tournament since that semis. He didn't look good in the semis. Kasich's in on another shot on Lovett. About ready to take him down again. And he does. 5-3 Caliendo as we go to the third. Pyro looking for neutral danger takedown. Oh, I thought Shapiro already wrestled. No, it was Cardenas at 57 from Stanford, I think, that got the fall. Caliendo. Got Olnick flattened down. Olnick gets back up to his feet. Caliendo tries to pick him up. He's got 40 seconds built towards riding time. 
Unable to return him, so lets him out for the escape. 5-4 is the lead now for Caliendo. Got taken down in the first, got his escape, and gets a takedown. All right, there's a big minute and a half left in this match here. This is big for the Hawkeyes. What did we have at the beginning of this session? Point 60. One? 60. They so haven't put it up there yet. Up there three, three and a half for real. Slide by there by Olnick. We almost stumble. Get our balance back. Come into an underhook. Try throwing it by. Missed the leg. Actually threw that underhook. Tried going to the far leg and then went back to the near leg. Waters getting near falls down there against Parco. That's big for the Hawks as well, keeping Arizona State from scoring any points. Got the Waters fall. gets the fall. Another takedown. I was just looking down at my notes. Caliendo, another go behind. Gets an 8-4 to four lead. 27 seconds left. Nice job, Caliendo. That's pretty good. It's worn for stalling there for not returning... Gets Olenek his riding time up over a minute. And Donian returns the favor over there against Shapiro. Point four riding time. Mikey Caliendo is going to win and move on by a score of 9-8. to eight. Olnick with a late takedown, but Caliendo got his riding time point. So Caliendo will win 9-8. to eight. And he will move on. Good match with Caliendo. Good match. We're going to step out, take a timeout. We'll be back with more from Kansas City and the T-Mobile Center right after this. You're listening to Hawkeye Wrestling from Learfield. guess we'll keep it here for now as some technical stuff we'll try to work through. Continuing on through consolation semifinal round matches. On the mats right now, 5-5 is the score between Meyer Shapiro of Cornell and Bryce Andonian of Virginia Tech. Okay, DeVos of South Dakota State taking on Shane Griffith of Michigan on mat number two. Kazak a 9-1 to lead. Shapiro gets a fall over Andonian. And down on mat number four. That is Lenny Wolak of Columbia and Makai Lewis of Virginia Tech. Sorry. There you go. I'm alive. So Kazak beats Lovett. So the one and the two will wrestle for fifth place tonight at 149. Shapiro and Cardenas. Cardenas beat Shapiro in the quarter, so a rematch there. And then waiting for O'Toole and Garvin. That is who Caliendo will wrestle. Sounds like we may have things squared away. Let's try commercial break here. Back with more from Kansas City. This is Hawkeye Wrestling from Learfield.
Well, something's still not working right. So doing some more troubleshooting remotely. Well, they got our points up on the board. We're uh, in second place now, 67. Michigan in third with 64 and a half. But they got Griffith, Shane Griffith, at 174 out here on the mat. And he is leading right now 4-2 over Cade DeVos of South Dakota State. I think Gomez will win tonight. Davidson definitely not. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! This is Monica from Monica's. Randy trusted Chef Sal and I for decades. Over the years, we learned from his work ethic, generosity, and courage. We made a strong team because he was a great coach. We are honored to carry on his legacy and will not change the Monica's playbook. Italian specialties and American favorites made from authentic ingredients, prepared and served by a caring staff. Like athletes, we will never forget our great coach. Thank you for your continued support. And of course, go Hawks. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. It's time for a great night out in Coralville. This is Mayor Megan Foster inviting you to join us Saturday, April 20th for the 4th Fest Basket Auction at Brown Deer Golf Club. Starting at 4.30, view baskets filled with gift certificates, treats, unique specialty items, and more. Stay for the bidding at 5.30 and take home your favorite gift basket. All proceeds go to 4th Fest, Coralville's spectacular summer family event. Let's make it bigger and better than ever at the basket auction on April 20th. Check coralville.org for details. Hit a deer? Call Premier. Premier Automotive in North Liberty is Eastern Iowa's most trusted name in auto body repair. Our Premier reputation is built on providing superior customer service, accurate estimates, and high quality work. Our experienced staff guarantees your vehicle is restored and back on the road in no time. Premier Automotive in North Liberty or online at PremierAutoIowa.com. Drive safely, but if you hit a deer, call Premier. You wouldn't wear the same clothes every day, so why are you drinking only one kind of beer? Experience the largest area selection of craft beer at local craft cellar. Craft beer, non-alcoholic beverages, snacks, meats, and the hard stuff too. Bourbon, tequila, gin, and more. There really is something for everyone and every occasion at local craft cellar. Stop in today at 7085 Sea Avenue Northeast in Cedar Rapids, just north of Boyson Road. Escape to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. Welcome back to the Columbus Center. Downtown Kansas City, 24 NCAA Wrestling Championship. We've got some of these bugs worked out. It's a long three-day tournament. We all start to get wore out. Technology does as well. Let's take a quick 
check, though, and uh, get a station ID break right here from the Hawkeye Radio Network. AM 800 KXIC Iowa City. Listen on the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. All right, so we will keep working through here as we are in the medal round. Consolation semifinals, winners will move on for third. Losers will drop down and wrestle for fifth place. Hawks have two that will be going for third. We will also have Jared Franick wrestling for seventh place a little bit later on. Real Woods with a win over Ekamendia of Iowa State. He will be taking on the ninth seed Brock Hardy of Nebraska. Hardy winning by medical forfeit. Lachlan McNeil, uh, medical forfeited and never heard anything. I don't know if it was he missed weight or if it was just that he got banged up for somehow yesterday. But um, either way, Hardy wins by medical forfeit. That means that Ekamendia is going to finish in fifth and will get two bonus points for Iowa State. So that'll be big for them. Give them another three and a half. So that'll put them up into fifth place, a point and a half behind Cornell. Right now, Penn State has 152 and a half. Iowa 67, Michigan 64 and a half. But they're going to get another three and a half points right there because Shane Griffith just won. Cornell 64, Arizona State 59 and a half, tied with Iowa State. And then Nebraska 57 and a half, Ohio State 57, Okie State 55, Virginia Tech 53. Right now, Makai Lewis about ready to win, so that'll give Virginia Tech another three and a half points. Keegan O'Toole 14 to one lead over Hunter Garvin. <clears throat> a lot of experience difference there. Hunter Garvin though has wrestled a great tournament. He's wrestled some good matches. Beat a mean last night, pretty good, and became an All-American. Major the nine seed Hall. He's the number twenty seed, and he's an All American. Knocked off the thirteen seed Bianche before he lost to Carr, and then he's wrestled all the way back to go to fifth place. Lewis is going to win there over Wolak. And Griffith beat DeVos. So Lewis and Griffith, a couple of former national champions, going at it for third. Salazar of Minnesota trailing Bennett Berge of South Dakota State, three to two with a minute to go. Truax and Munoz getting ready to get or just getting underway. Tanner Sloan up on the mat right now, just about ready to start. He's wrestling Stephen Buchanan of Oklahoma. Michigan is now a point in front of the Hawkeyes for second, 68 to 67. Cornell in fourth, 64. They've got Vito out there tonight. They also got a big fall by Shapiro. Shapiro. That helped. Yeah. Northern Iowa. I was wondering where they were point wise. They're down. They're down in 14th place. They're tied for 14th with Lehigh with 34 and a half points. I really thought they would get in that top ten this year. Take down Tech Fall for O'Toole. Over Garvin. So Caliendo will have O'Toole for the third place match. They have wrestled twice before. O'Toole winning eight to three and fifteen to eight. Bennett Berge defeats Salazar. So the nine beats the two. Truax and Munoz scoreless. Hendrickson of Air Force getting ready to come out against Feldman of Ohio State. Munoz has Truax on his back. It's in the first period, 50 seconds left. Doesn't appear he's in a position where he's going to be able to get the fall here, but 
Give him a seven-point move. Well, let's take a look at our Hawkeye women's wrestling update brought to you by Riverside Casino oh, and Golf Resort. Oh, he did. Moody there you go. Got the fall over Truex. So Truax will wrestle for fifth place. A Riverside Casino and Golf Resort featuring the Draft Day Sports Lounge where you'll find great food, beverages, and the Top Golf Swing Suite ready to play. The Hawkeyes winning the national championship in Cedar Rapids a couple weeks ago. Kylie Welker winning the last match of the night. The Hawks had a one-half point lead going into that match, and uh, they were able to get the win from Welker and secure the team title. 12 All-Americans, 6 national champions, and they only lose a couple of seniors that were in that starting lineup. So uh, they've got some bright things going uh, moving forward. So congrats to Coach Chun and the Hawkeye women. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, located just minutes south of Iowa City, is proud to be the presenting sponsor of the inaugural season of Hawkeye Women's Wrestling. Thank you to Riverside Casino and Golf Resort for your partnership with the Iowa Hawkeyes. Also all season long, Pioneer brings us our talks with Hawkeye coach Tom Brands. Pioneer brand A-Series Enlist E3 soybeans hold the best agronomic performance a soybean seed has ever achieved. Contact your local Pioneer sales rep to learn more. <clears throat> Bergy did win that <clears throat> so Bergy will take on Munoz so Bergy, Munoz Salazar and Truax for fifth Cardenas and Elam out on Matt three Buchanan and Sloan wrestling four and then the Stall heavyweights against Buchanan. Hendrickson, the takedown, leads Feldman of Ohio State 3-1. to one. Zach Elam and Colton Schultz on mat number two. Hendrickson of Air Force taking it to Feldman of Ohio State at heavyweight six to one right now. Tanner Sloan and Buchanan all tied up zero zero at the end of the first period. Buchanan did get a stall warning in that first period. Cardenas leads Elam three to one. Tanner Sloan right now just got reversed, it looks like. Up to his feet, trying to get hand control. He's out for a one-point escape. Makes it 2-1 to one right now in favor of Buchanan. Hendrickson of Air Force, the heavyweight. Up six to two now on Feldman of Ohio State. Schultz of Arizona State and Elam of Missouri. Zero zero first period. Those are that's a big match for Arizona State in the team race. Arizona State right now. Where is Arizona State? They dropped. No, they're in fifth. They're in fifth, but a win here, they'd still be in fifth, but only a point behind fourth. Arizona State with two finalists tonight. One of them head-to-head -head with Drake Ayala at 125 pounds. I don't know how that match is going to go. It's going to be interesting to see. They have not wrestled each other. Sloan and Buchanan still 2-1 to one here in the second period. Man, three, Cardenas three, Elam one. So you both, both Elam brothers out on the mat at the same time. That's pretty cool. 
I'd be like beating the mom and the dad of that, trying to watch two matches at once. Right next to each other, too. Right in the two center mats. Right now, Jacob Cardenas reached Rocky Elam at the 197 pound weight, 3 to 1. Starting the second period. And Schultz and Zach Elam 0 0 after the first period. Tanner Sloan in a scramble situation down there. And it looks like Buchanan from Oklahoma might have gotten an escape, a one-point escape. To start off the third, I don't know. Referees are talking about it. No, they're saying that. Or no, Tanner started down. So Tanner started down. He's losing two to one. An escape would tie it. Tanner Sloan lost last night in the. Semifinals, 4-1 to one to Heidley. Heidley will be taking on Aaron Brooks tonight. Got the engineer involved now. It must be serious. Oh, boy. So we are... Uh... Well, South Dakota State throwing in a brick right now. A challenge call with Buchanan on top. My guess is... Locked hands would be my assumption. Not really sure. I'm going to go look at this. On mat number one, Hendrickson leads 9 to 4 now. Cardenas leads Rocky Elam 6 to 3. Still no score between Zach Elam and Colton Schultz, but Zach Elam does have riding time. Zach Elam riding Colton Schultz tough. Probably going to ride him out the whole period the way it looks. Zach Elam flattens, flattens back out. Still review, reviewing over here on map four with Tanner Sloan and Stephen Buchanan of Oklahoma. Two to one right now in favor of Buchanan. Tanner Sloan was in the bottom position with Buchanan on top, and my guess is this the review and it be a locked hands call. So did Buchanan get the reversal in the second period? Yes, and then Sloan got an escape. escape. So that's where it's 2 1. Okay. Hendrickson out to a 10 to 4 lead over Feldman now. Look at that. Elam chose to go top against Schultz. Well, it wasn't a bad move. He just rode him out for two minutes straight, and Schultz didn't even have a chance to get out. Now he's trying to get a far side cradle locked in on him. Penn State 152.5, Michigan 68, Iowa 67, Cornell 64, Arizona State 59.5, tied with Iowa State. No locked hands, but Tanner Sloan gets his escape before the riding time. Should have been like 56 or 57 seconds on the riding time clock. They let it tick up to 59. So it's all tied up down there, 2-2. Two, two. Now what are they looking at? Figuring out the clock. They're going to look at it. I mean, in the grand scheme seconds. of things, you're at 59. It's not that big of a deal. 
mean between 59 and 56, because at this point in the game, if you get taken down... Well, I'm sure Oklahoma's wanting to say it was a minute. would be my guess. Because obviously that's going to be a big deal in the outcome of the game, possibly. Okay. Hendrickson up 13-4 to four now over Feldman. And they got clean up a bunch of blood down there, it looks like, for Feldman. And Zach Elam is going to ride out Colton Schultz for the rest of this period, it looks like, too. Mark, let's take a quick timeout right now and uh, reset a couple more things. We'll uh, figure out some of these replays as well as we're working through the medal rounds at the 2024 NCAA Wrestling Championships. Back with more right after this. You're listening to Hawkeye Wrestling from Learfield. Is your vehicle worn out from Wo Wo Winter? Sprint into Dodge Street Tower today and get a free vehicle inspection from my dad, Brian Sekafetz. For over 30 good years, they've been your family-friendly, dependable, and honest neighborhood auto repair shop, willing to hurdle any obstacle. That's why their loyal customers have once again voted Dodge Street Tire as best in the area. Race into Dodge Street Tire and Auto at the corner of Dodge and Chicha Church Street. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Give any room in your home a stunning new look and feel with Palisade wall planks from Menards. These easy-to-install waterproof planks require no mortar and have a natural wood grain or tile look, making them ideal for bathrooms, kitchens, and laundry rooms. They can be installed over concrete, plywood, drywall, and even existing tile. Save big money on your next home improvement project with Palisade wall planks now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This is Coralville City Administrator Kelly Hayworth reminding you to shop and eat locally. Now, your favorite Coralville businesses offer more options for finding what you want for your home and family. Local restaurants, bakeries, and breweries have perfected carryout and delivery. Coralville shops continue excelling in personalized service. They take pride in helping you find the perfect item or gift for any occasion. Thank you for infusing Coralville with your shopping and dining dollars. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. Welcome back to U.S. Kansas City and the Mobile Center. Things rolling through here. Tanner Sloan, they got the riding time figured out. Does not matter, though, because even though riding time was over a minute, Tanner ends up getting taken down, so he will lose 6-2. to two. So Tanner Sloan, the three seed, will wrestle for fifth place. I wanted Sloan to go for third. Elam beat Schultz. Hendrickson whooped up on Feldman, right? Feldman and Schultz tonight. Who won between Cardenas and the other Elam? Cardenas. Okay. So Stanford scoring some more points. Or Cornell, excuse me. Cornell actually has jumped a half a point ahead of the Hawkeyes now. So now they are going to run through, and they are wrestling all of the seventh-place matches. So Franick and Rob are on deck on mat number one. That is where Jore Volk of Wyoming taking on Tanner Jordan of South Dakota State. Mat number two, Shaber of Rutgers will be taking on Kai Oreen of NC State. Mat number three, Ryan Jack of NC State taking on Vance Vombauer of Minnesota. And on mat number four, 149 pounds, Casey Swiderski of Iowa State taking on Quinn Kenner from Ryder. So they're going to do all the seventh place matches. Take a short break. Take all of the 
fifth place matches, take a break, and then do all of the third place matches. So let's see here. Four mats, ten weight classes, so this will go so two mats. Quick takedown for Swiderski down there against Kenner. Gives him a three nothing lead. Only one point for these matches plus any bonus that you get. So points are going to become a lot more hard to come by. So we're really starting to see that kind of solidify, aside from those with guys in the finals tonight. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, locally owned and operated, voted best of the area for the 10th consecutive year, proudly supports Iowa wrestling. Trust Dodge Street Tire for honest auto repair and the best deals on Goodyear and Toyo tires. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, celebrating over 30 good years on the corner of Dodge and Church Streets in Iowa. Iowa City. Also feel the excitement as NASCAR returns to the Iowa Speedway with Powerball and the Iowa Lottery. Add the double play bonus to your Powerball ticket for your chance to win exclusive NASCAR prizes. See complete rules and details at ialottery.com slash VIP. Recapping for the Hawkeyes this session. Started off Real Woods taking on Anthony Ekamendia of Iowa State. Ekamendi actually tried a body lock in the second period that Real Woods was able to slip around behind and get a takedown off of the scramble and an escape as well. That leads to a 4 nothing win for Real Woods. He will now wrestle the number nine seed Brock Hardy of Nebraska for third place. Michael Caliendo taking on the number seven seed Isaac Olenek of Oklahoma State. Olenek with a takedown at the beginning of the match. Caliendo comes back, gets another takedown in the first, and a takedown in the third. Needed that one because Olnick got a late takedown right before time expired to tie it up at eight, but Caliendo had his riding time, so he wins that one by a score of nine to eight. He moves on, and he will be taking on top-seeded Keegan O'Toole of Missouri for third place. Jared Franick getting ready to take on Peyton Robb of Nebraska over on mat number one. How many times have they wrestled? This is the third time them wrestling this year? Yes. Technically fourth, because they were supposed to wrestle in the third place match at the Big Tens. Oh, yeah, that's but right. But we medically forfeited out of it. We couldn't see out of our eyeball. Yeah. And then you look Woods and Hardy. I mean, this will be the sixth time that they've wrestled in the last two years. Including the Big Ten finals last year. Well, Swiderski of Casey Swiderski of Iowa State, he's up 7 5 right now, and that's only in the first period. He's wrestling Quinn Kinner of Ryder. And Swiderski gets another takedown, makes it 10 to 5. Derek St. John, Brett Metcalf in the corner for Swiderski. Volk of Wyoming up 3-0 over Tanner Jordan of South Dakota State. Dylan Shaver of Rutgers up 6-2 over Kyle Reen of NC State. Ryan Jack up 3-1 over Von Bauer of Minnesota. Volk will take that 3-0 lead into the second period against Jordan. Shaver 6-2 over O'Reen. Rode down the elevator with Brody Teske this morning. Seemed to be at least putting on a front of good spirits. I know it's and always, always pretty hard. Bummed. He was pretty bummed last night, which is expected for sure. Well, it was funny because we got in the van and guys that we were with, they were like, how come Teske's coming over so early? You know, 8.30? said, well, he's probably coming over to help warm up Real Woods or something. And that's 
the interesting thing about this tournament, I mean, we were coming over last night, and Tom Brands was making sure that Caleb Bracci was going to be over for warm-up partners for Real Woods early on in the last night session. And, you know, Bracci just gets knocked out of the tournament, and there's a lot of emotion that goes into that, but that's where you're, you're a teammate. Team, teammate, you know, and a team player, and it's a team sport in that retrospect. Swiderski really going to town now. He's up 13-6. to six. Schauffer up 6-2 over Areen. Baumbauer a 3-1 deficit, but he's riding right now. Swiderski hit with a stall call. He's riding. I guess if he was at the rear standing and... Didn't return him, just pushed him out of bounds. But a win here for Iowa State would push them back into the top five. They're at 59 and a half. Actually, they're tied for fifth right now, but they would have fifth all alone. Jack still the 3-1 lead at the end of the second period. Now 4-1, to he gets an escape right at the end. Baumbauer does have riding time, though. And Volk a 3-0 lead over Tanner Jordan in the second period. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. Also throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. Well, they announced late last night after... I was just getting ready to doze off for the evening that we're going to start the finals at heavyweight. So Drake Ayala will be the second wrestler, the second match to go tonight. Start at heavyweight, and then they'll just run through order and finish out at 197. Kind of what my thought was going to be. Obviously, they want to wait and see how things shake out for... If there's anything with the team race or any other individual matchups, but the big one being basically you'll close out 74 and 97, two out of the last three matches with the opportunity for two four-timers from Penn State. Carter Storacci, the nine seed at 174, and then Aaron Brooks, the top seed at 197. A minute to go on mat number one, Volk. 3-0 lead, plus he has riding time against Jordan of South Dakota State. Minute 20 to go in the third period. Shaver of Rutgers, a 9-3 lead over Kyle Reen of NC State. Final seconds down here. And Ryan Jack in on a shot, even though he's leading against Vance Vombauer of Minnesota. And then Swiderski, 13-7, plus he has riding time. So he's going to spend this third period trying to get... Another bonus point for the Cyclones. Ryan Jack wins that one 4-3. to three. So Jack, the number four seed, finishes in seventh place. Von Bauer will finish eighth as the number 26 seed. <clears throat> so that'll give NC State... Another point might get them back into the top ten. Nope, they're still a little ways away. It's going to be
to bring Frannick out, taking on Peyton Robb. Here we go. Five to four in the dual meet, seven to three in the early part of the Big Ten tournament. Before Rob winning by medical forfeit in the third place bout. Double leg cut off to a single four. Frannick. Head to the inside, trying to cut off to the other leg. Can't get it. Rob trying to grab through our leg, trying to come around the side here. Frannick with the head between the legs, trying to come up. Doing a better job there, Mark. He yeah. posted and he's elevating with it. Yep, not laying on his belly, just kind of holding. Now he's just holding for a stalemate. So Rob had a hold of our leg. That was good, smart wrestling right there by Frannick. Swiderski thought he had takedown in near falls or neutral danger, and he is getting the neutral danger now. He might get a fall here. Nope, ran out of time. So he does get the major. So that was big for that was big for um, Iowa State, get, picking up an extra bonus point there. Another shot by Frannick goes to a stalemate. Swiderski, the eight seed, finishes in seventh. There's a shot by Rob. Frannick throwing that whizzer in. Trying to get the toe down to the mat. We'll sit to our butt, locked around the crotch. Rob trying to cut off to the nope, double and take takes down. the out. How much time we got here? Minute nine in the first. <clears throat> Three nothing lead for Rob. Frannick working up to his feet. He gets out for the escape. Three one is the lead now for Rob. Matt number three, Poswick of Army gets a takedown against Edmund Ruth of Illinois. Also, Stewart of Virginia Tech against David Key of Navy just gets underway on mat number four. Shaver a minute to go, leads Oreen 9-4, plus he has riding time. Frannick, ankle pick attempt. Rob, though, sprawls back, has us in a front headlock. Posting on the elbow. Period comes to an end. So Frannick down 3-1 as we go to the second. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women in the United States. You need expert care from specialists who know your heart condition inside and out. UI Heart and Vascular Center has advanced trained cardiologists that use state-of-the-art diagnostic tools. Make an appointment today at uihc.org slash hvc. Rob starts down to begin the second period. Right away up to his feet. And they go out of bounds, not before Rob squares up, gets the escape. So he leads 4-1 to one now. Rob has 19 seconds built towards his riding time. A shot by Rob, head to the inside, and almost dumped us down, but we're able to square back up momentarily. Trying to get that toe back down to the mat, peel that grip free. We reach down, grab his leg. Rob drops down, trying to cut across to that double leg. Now elevates us up and takes us down for three more. Oh, dang it. Good shot by Rob. He's just wrestling tough right now. Looks good. Not that Frannick's not doing anything. He just He's just getting, playing, getting out wrestled right now. He's got to get up off the bottom now, come up, get a one-point escape. He's down 7-1 to one with a minute to go here in the second period. He's trying to get some hand control, knees underneath him. Who just won? Rutgers Shopper, just won. Yep.
35 seconds to go. Now Rob has riding time against Frannick. Matt number two coming in. All of West Virginia. Rob just looking good this match. Rob a senior? I believe so, yeah. I wish they'd put that in the brackets, like on the first page. I mean, it's kind of hard with COVID right now and stuff, but yeah. Next year will be the last year of that, I think. That sounds about right, yes. Like Starachi could come back. Kirkleet could come back. Yeah, he is a senior, and this is his fifth NCAA tournament. Fifth NCAA tournament. Wow. Three-time so All-American. What about Frannick? He's Is he a six-year senior? Yes. Yep, this is also his fifth. NCAA tournament. Did we take down and... Yeah. Haven't been able to get out. Mm -mm. Rob has 224 ride time at building. Yeah, we just have not been able to even really establish our base. Kind of surprised that we took down. Well, we haven't been able to have an answer for him on the feet. Base now. Rob doing a great job controlling our wrist. Now Nebraska coach is telling Rob, go neutral. See if you can get a takedown, get a bonus point. Three minutes of riding time. So there's the escape, makes it seven to two. Stewart of Virginia Tech getting a major over there. And he takes a shot. On the front headlock. Goes for a shot again. Misses. Front head again. Rob trying to circle around. Twenty-five seconds to go in the match. Frantic pretty much out of it at this point, but Rob still trying desperately to get a takedown and get a major and get the team an extra bonus point. Gonna be able to do it. Trying to pull Frantic back in right on the edge. Oh, he did. He got it with three seconds left. Wow. That's big for that's a good effort. That's a good way for a six-year senior to go out. Eleven to two, the final score. Major decision for Rob over Frantic. We're gonna take a timeout. We'll be back with more from Kansas City right after this. You're listening to the 24. 2024 NCAA Wrestling Championships. This is Hawkeye Wrestling from Lear. Hit a deer. Call Premier. Premier Automotive in North Liberty is Eastern Iowa's most trusted name in auto body repair. Our premier reputation is built on providing superior customer service, accurate estimates, and high quality work. Our experienced staff guarantees your vehicle is restored and back on the road in no time. Premier Automotive in North Liberty. We're online at premierautoiowa.com. Drive safely. But if you hit a deer, call Premier. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Frank McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Not as huge as the craft beer selection at local craft cellar. 
Looking for the largest selection of craft beer in the area? You'll find it all at Local Craft Cellar. On top of their massive selection of craft beer, wine, and spirits, Local Craft Cellar also stocks brats, jerky, bacon, and more from Edgewood Locker Meats, Sea Avenue, Northeast, and Cedar Rapids, just north of Boyce and Road, and online at localcraftcellar.com. That's localcraftcellar.com. Hey, Hawkeye fans. This is Monica from Monica. Randy always told Chef Sal and me that family comes first. So I'm here with my son to invite you to stop by before or after your favorite university event. We are proud of our Hawkeye co-workers, including Sal's daughter, Miss Sarah, and hope you know that if you are headed to Carver or Hancher, our awesome food, full bar, and Monica's family await. We hope to see you soon. And what do you say, Meyer? Go Hawks! On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. AM 800 KXIC, Attention Iowa stations Center. on the network. On the Our broadcast will begin in 15 minutes from my mark. Talk in and five, podcast. four, three, never three sounded so good. two, one, mark. That was your 15-minute time check, stations. You wouldn't wear the same clothes every day, so why are you drinking only one kind of beer? Experience the largest area selection of craft beer at local craft cellar. Craft beer, non-alcoholic beverages, snacks, meats, and the hard stuff too. Bourbon, tequila, gin, and more. There really is something for everyone and every occasion at local craft cellar. Stop in today at 7085 C Avenue Northeast in Cedar Rapids, just north of Boyce and Road. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. Start after these are all done. Recapping so far, Jory Bolk, the five seed from Wyoming, finishes seventh. Shaber of Rutgers, the number four seed, finishes in seventh. Ryan Jack, the four seed from North Carolina State, finishes in seventh. Casey Swiderski of Iowa State, the eight seed, finishes seventh. Peyton Robb, the eight seed from Nebraska, knocks off Iowa's Jared Franick, to finish seventh. Paul of West Virginia, the ninth seed. Overturned the loss from earlier in the tournament. Beats Taylor of Nebraska to finish seventh. 174, Edmund Ruth, the number three seed wins. Seven seed Stewart of Virginia Tech wins. And right now we have 97 and heavyweight going on. No score first period between Beard of Lehigh and Little of Little Rock at 197. Four to one lead for Yaroslav Slavikowski in the second period overtake Yaldi of Campbell at the heavyweight seventh place match. As soon as these are done, they'll take a short break. And re 
reset everything, get ready to do the fifth place bouts where we will not have any Hawkeyes wrestling. We will have Real Woods and Michael Caliendo both wrestling for third place. Kick down on mat number three gives Little of Little Rock a three to one lead in the second period. These they are going to roll into the fifth place bouts. You'll have mat number two, Frost of Iowa State against Ragason of Michigan. Mat number four, the top two seeds at 149, Parko of Arizona State, and Rich Lovett of Nebraska, going for fifth. Oak Knoll's mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services to life care profit life plan community serving the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oak Knoll conveniently located near the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. Kinnick Attention Stadium, stations on the Arena, network. Our broadcast will begin in 10 minutes from my mark. Athletics, in 5, 4, to learn 3, more. 2, 1, Molly's cupcakes. Marks. That was your 10-minute time check three stations. Hours away from women's basketball at Carver Hawkeye Arena. You can proudly get those Molly's cupcakes inside Carver Hawkeye. For a taste of unique flavors you'll love, stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, cakes, bars, and coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes is a proud supporter of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Penn State 152 and a half, Michigan 68, Cornell 67 and a half, Iowa 67. Don't tell me every bonus point that makes a difference. Iowa State 61 and a half, Arizona State and Nebraska 59 and a half, Virginia Tech 59, Ohio State 57, Oklahoma State 55. Current top 10. 6 2 is the lead on mat number 3 for Little of Little Rock in the third period. Challenge of some sort on mat number 1, where Slavikowski leads that one 4 to 2. Paul or Taylor won? Paul did. Little Rock's got small Americans. Two of them. First two in school history. Five years ago is when they started. So it's like a two-year process. I guess this is their third year at the NCAAs. Little Rock is well, Iowa State's frost right now is getting beat six to one. That's for fifth place. He's getting beat by Ragason of Michigan. I don't know who we want to win that. We're going for second. On Iowa State. State to win. If we just don't want to get beat by Iowa State, then we want Michigan to win. Iowa State is right behind us in fifth place. Iowa's fourth. Five and a half point spread between the two of us. Iowa State does have Carr in the finals tonight. I'm just going to say they got one finalist and we have one finalist. Carr versus Messenger. I don't believe they've ever wrestled before. No. Lovett over Parco. Parco actually beat Lovett, and that was his only loss during the regular season. I think the weekend we were down in Okie State, they went out to Arizona State, and Parco won. I guess it's 6 2 lead now on Frost. Let's get ahead of the game on some more commercials. We'll be back with more from Kansas City right after this. We'll listen to the Hawkeye Wrestling from their field. Menards has everything to get your garden ready for spring. Masterforce has all of the gardening tools you need, from lawnmowers and leaf blowers to string trimmers and hand tools. Dig deeper this year and master your garden with the Masterforce fiberglass handle digging shovel. It's durable, versatile, and on sale now through March 24th. Head into the
the Menards Garden Center to get your project started today and find the rest of our great deals on Menards.com. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corngrowsiowa. While the winter wind blows, scoop up a zero-down, zero-interest deal on Caterpillar Tough Excavation Equipment at Outdoor for Cat. From the mini excavator on up, Cat Next Generation Excavators feature industry-leading tech and safety features. See the latest models in all sizes at Outdoor for Cat. At 0% zero-down and zero hassle, now is the best time to scoop up your new excavator. Win big this winter. Call Outdoor for at 866-DEMO-CAT or visit OutdoorFor.com. That's 866-DEMO-CAT or OutdoorFor.com. Wow, what a huge hit. Well, not as huge as the craft beer selection at local craft cellar. Looking for the largest selection of craft stations beer in the area? on the network? Find it all Our broadcast will begin in five minutes from my mark. Craft beer in wine five, spirits, local four, craft cellar also three, stocks brats, jerky, two, bacon, and more from one, Edgewood Locker Mates. Mark. Sea Avenue, that was your five minute time check station. And online at localcraftcellar.com. That's localcraftcellar.com. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. Got chronic joint pain? Not having success with steroids, but trying to avoid surgery? Well, thankfully, there's a better way, and it's now available here from the medical professionals at QC Kinetics. I'm talking about new advanced regenerative medicine treatments that can restore and repair damaged tissue in your bad joints, providing lasting relief with no drugs, no surgery, and no downtime. This is an all-natural way to use highly concentrated healing properties from your own body to give you lasting relief. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in precision regenerative medicine with over 100 clinics across America and literally thousands of satisfied patients. If you've got joint pain due to arthritis, knee pain, hip pain, shoulder pain, don't just think the old ways of dealing with pain are the only ways. You need to learn more about these new regenerative options that can change your life. Call QC Kinetics now. It's a free consultation with local medical professionals. Call 319-229-5155. That's 319-229-5155. QC Kinetics. 319-229-5155. Amazon's delivery service partner program empowers leaders like you to launch and operate your own delivery business with Amazon support with no logistics experience required. Amazon will help you scale your business. Apply today at amazon.com slash owner. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling presented by Pioneer. On the mats right now. All fifth place bouts. Standage, the two seed from Lehigh against Smith. Attention, of Nebraska. stations That's on the rematch. network. Our Smith broadcast will begin Standage in two minutes in from my mark. Victory. In five, earlier this four, tournament. Three, Matt number two, two 133, Frost one, of Iowa State down mark. 12. That was your two minute Ragusen. time check, stations. Of Michigan. Curious to see Frost. Looks like he's going to try to ride and turn Ragason. He's down by seven. Riding time could theoretically be erased, but that's not going to do anything. Boy, you think you'd be able to go feet to back. Easier. You got that's seven points versus, say, three or four. Keller and Andoni at 5'11. 
Five Five and the First. Those two are funky guys. I love it. Just got taken down by Parco right at the end of the third period. Man, I love it. Had a rough go round. Attention, stations on the network. Oh, Our what? broadcast will begin in one here. minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That There's was your one-minute one on time, time now check, stations. Down to zero, but okay, that's what they're doing. The last second. So, Arco, Arizona State wins. Um, we forgot when we were talking about team race and everything. There's another takedown for Ragason. Now, Splate will put in, it looks like, for Keller, but only a two-near fall. Um, Ekamendia got beat by Real Woods. However, Lachlan McNeil had it forfeited out of the tournament, so there's three points right there for Iowa State because Ekamendia wins fifth by a forfeit. So that puts the Cyclones up to 64 and a half. coming out now, taking on Salazar of Minnesota. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Baseball is on point. So two points for Michigan there. That'll put them up to 70. Andonian and Keller. Somebody get the fall over there. Keller pinned Andonian. Huh. That's what I say, man. That Andonian. Give him something to work with, and he can make a, most of it, or he can find a way to get beat as well. All right, that brings up Tanner Sloan out on mat number three now. Sloan taking on Rocky Elam of Missouri. You know, they've wrestled many times before. Truax out 3-0 against Salazar. Is that a rematch of the Big Tens? I think so, Finals, yeah. I mean. I'm just looking at my notes here. Yes, 8-1 to one sudden victory for Salazar. 8-1 to one sudden victory. So feet to back, seven-point move. Yeah. For a three-point takedown and a four-point near fall. So one to one going into overtime, and Truax has already scored now. So we're way ahead of the game. So Tanner Sloan beat Elam at the Big 12s one to nothing. Also pinned him in the dual meet in 439. Matt number two, Wolak of Columbia and Cade DeVos of South Dakota State. So two Iowa high school preps that are teammates now in Brookings, South Dakota. On to the mats right next to each other for fifth place. True takedown against Salazar leads that one three to nothing. No score still with Stanich and Smith. Stanich about ready to get a minute of riding time to start the second period. Truex has over a minute ride time as well. If you're looking for a place to stay near Iowa City and the University of Iowa, Hyatt Regency Coralville offers a memorable experience. The newly remodeled 288-room hotel features an on-site restaurant, new cafe serving Starbucks, a beautiful outdoor terrace, and much more. Hyatt Regency Coralville, located in the Iowa River Landing District and is within walking distance to unique restaurants, luxury retailers, and live events at Extreme Arena. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Take down for DeVos, so he leads 3 to nothing over Wolak. There's an escape for Smith, but then a takedown right before the period comes to an end for Stanich. So he leads 3-1 to one in that one. 
Truax an escape to start the second period. He leads 4-0 to zero with a minute 34 of riding time against Salazar, the two-seed from Minnesota. No score with Tanner and Elam yet. That one with a minute to go in the first period. Nice Tanner, nice, nice Tanner. shot. Finishes Cuts off. Three. Nice job, Tanner. Another takedown for Truax over there. See how quick that finish was from for Tanner? Yeah. Angles, angles. Yep, he wasn't straight on. He was coming from and a 45-degree angle. And he didn't stop. There was no hesitation. He hit the corner right away, got to that far ankle immediately. Quick finishes. Now Truex, leg turk in, trying to go cross face. I'm trying to think, Nebraska would still have Pinto at 184. I think is their only other wrestler. So Nebraska. If they were to pin, get a pin here and then get a pin by Pinto, could sneak into the top five if Iowa State doesn't score anymore. True acts eight nothing lead going into the third. Sloan leads 3-0, start of the second period. They go neutral. I didn't see who chose that. And DeVos still leads 3-0 inside of a minute to go, first period. What do you think? I just saw a couple people on Twitter not necessarily enjoying that they do all of the seventh place matches at one time and then all of the fifth place matches and then all of the third place matches. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's the first time they've ever done this. I'm I think they of. did it last year too. I don't think so. I think this is the first time they've ever done this. Stanich wins that. Yep. So that brings I... Olnick out against Hunter Garvin for Stanford, Iowa City West High Prep. Another two-point reversal or takedown, one or the other, for Truax. He's going to get a major, maybe even a tech fall down there. Salazar did not show up this morning. Ooh, there's a shot by Elam against Tanner Sloan. Tanner trying to reach back and grab an ankle, create a scramble. Ten seconds left in the period. Now Tanner actually pulls his leg out, comes through, and gets the takedown himself. What a boy, Tanner Sloan. Right at the end of the period, too. Again, it looked like Elam was thinking, ah, he's just holding on for the stalemate at the end of the period. And Tanner sensed that relaxation and took advantage of it. Tanner's choice. He's going to choose down to start third period. Takes a 6-0 to zero lead. Olnick and Garvin on mat number one. That should be a fun, interesting matchup. Should be lots of action in that match. Both those guys are pretty aggressive wrestlers. Sloan the escape. He leads 7-0 to zero now. Riding time not a factor. Truax won 12-0. DeVos 4-0 lead right now. A minute to go. No score with Olnick and Garvin. A minute 45 to go. New match on mat number four. Heavyweight fifth place match. Nick Feldman of Ohio State against Colton Schultz of Arizona State.
Feldman. We said yesterday, oh. he's a smaller guy. Schultz, one of the bigger heavyweights, and he comes across with an underhook. Schultz tries tossing him. Schultz has a Greco background, and Feldman almost hipped into him and put him to his back, but they both bounce back up to their feet. That Schultz is deceptive. You look at him, and Mark, and he's so-so, like, but he's athletic for a big he guy. He is athletic, yeah. He has fun with the sport, too. He has fun out there. He's one of those guys, he's just a happy-go-lucky kid. He's kind of friends with everybody, and he just likes being out there and kind of doing throws and different fun stuff. He's not one of those guys that puts headphones on and just gets rah, 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 you know, before your matches. He just, he's he's kind of become a fan favorite a little bit. He started to a couple of years ago. Tanner Sloan still up 7-0. And that's pretty much how it's going to end. Tanner Sloan will finish in fifth place. That a boy, Tanner. Way to close out your career. On to sheep farming, buddy. <laughs> and turkey hunting. That's right. As we work through these matches, let's take another time out. We'll be back with more from Kansas City and the 2024 NCAA Wrestling Championships right after this. This is Hawkeye Wrestling from Learfield. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paints for your next project at Menards. Give your space the platinum treatment in one coat with Platinum Plus Interior Paint. Its stain shield technology protects your spaces with a performance you'd expect from a luxury paint at a price you wouldn't. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening smooth pouring container, transforming your home has never been easier. Save big money on Dutch Boy paints and head into Menards to get your paint project started today. Save big money at Menards. Welcome back to the Nitrogen Stabilizers Draft. Up the night technology, first pick, just like the last 46 years. That's what we love about this sport. We just don't know. We know. It keeps nitrogen in the corn's root zone for eight weeks. Compare with two weeks for others. With the first pick, farmers select. Up the night technology from Corteva AgriScience. Ah, that's it. I'm going for a pretzel. The pick is in. Optonite technology from Corteva AgriScience with InServ and Instinct Next Gen Nitrogen Stabilizers. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. The Hawkeyes play here on AM 800 KXIC, Iowa City's Hawkeye Sports Leader. Made excellent use of the verbs bittersweet symphony. For more great movie soundtrack hits, check out Popcorn Radio on the iHeartRadio app. Back in Kansas City, the 2024 NCAA Wrestling Championships. Mark and I are both looking down. We look back up and see that Feldman put Colton Schultz to his back at the end of the first period. Olenek of Oklahoma State leads Hunter Garvin 2-0 to zero in the second period of that match. He must have gotten a reversal. He started did, on yes. the down position and got a reversal, and he's been riding Garvin since and is about ready to get riding time over Garvin. DeVos, a 4 to nothing lead, four seconds left. They got blood, so it looks like Kate DeVos from Southeast Polk will finish in fifth place for South Dakota State. Starting some of the third-place matches. Crookham of Lehigh, the two-seed, against the seven-seed Bailey of Little Rock. Four to two is the score in the quarterfinals. Crookham beat Bailey. Bring new match on mat number two, Barnett of Wisconsin against Noto of Lockhaven. That could be an interesting one. The 
Voss one. On like a two to nothing lead, plus he has riding time. Oh! Schultz takes down Feldman. Almost to his back. So that's a seven to four score now. Hunter Garvin from Stanford down two to nothing, plus he has riding time against himself. Slide by by Olnick, but Garvin gets away from him. Over under to a headlock by Garvin, but they go out of bounds. No points. Check out the Iowa Style Apparel retail store located in the strip mall just south of Target on Edgewood Road Southwest in Cedar Rapids. Iowa Style Apparel offers the latest looks for a variety of local sports teams, including an expansive wrestling section. Check out the Iowa Style Apparel retail store on Edgewood Road Southwest in Cedar Rapids or shop online at iowastyleapparel.com. Still got any uh, women's wrestling championships t-shirts available? Uh, we do have a few left over there. It's been a hot seller here at this tournament. I know a lot of people have been excited about that program and the success they've had early on. Love to see that keep going. Over there, Olnick almost hits a slide by right on the edge of the mat. 30 seconds left. Garvin needs a takedown to force sudden victory because riding time is almost secured in another three seconds. I think Arizona State's challenging right now. The, the, no, I think they had a blood time. They did? Yeah. They're upset with the referee. I was thinking he's challenging that near fall. Looks like Real Woods is going to be up here next. Yep, he's on deck Roger on one. Garvin and Olenek. It looks like Olenek is going to win that one. Good tournament, though, from Hunter Garvin, the number 20 seed. And comes through and finishes in sixth place. Good tournament for Garvin. That's awesome. All-American. Garvin didn't realize time had run out. He was still going through. Thought he had a cradle locked in. Thought he had a point. But the match had come to an end. 8-4 lead for Feldman. And not surprisingly, Schultz on mat number four going over under. That's in the third period. Tries tossing him, and Feldman does a good job. Keeps the hips back and then takes him down off of that. So Feldman will win that. He'll play fifth. Schultz will get sixth. All right, Real Woods, let's finish this out on a win here, buddy. Tough match here. Taking on Hardy. Six to four this year he beat him. 2-1, 11-1, 8-2 last year he beat him. Shot by Hardy, reshot by Real. Comes up into a front headlock. 3-1 is the lead for Noto over Barnett. 4-0 is the lead for Crookham over Bailey. Hardy dives towards Real off that front headlock. Real now trying to look Merkel. Not there. Slides down to the leg right on the edge. Hardy dives into the red corner. Out of bounds. Head back to the center. Hardy and Rob. I mean, they, they look alike. They're both bald, similar sets. But if you remember last year, Hardy had like a something in his rib or midsection that – thought that was Rob. Well, so Rob had the infection in his leg after the tournament oh, yeah. that he went to the hospital. But Hardy, during the tournament, had a busted rib or something that really slowed him down. He tried gutting through it, but Hardy takes a finger to the eye and stop action momentarily. Reaches over, shakes Reel's hand, says, I know it wasn't on purpose. Kazak comes out on mat number four, taking on Waters of West Virginia, the five versus the seven. Oh, Hardy got in a shot on us. Just kind of a weird deal. They kind of, who was it yesterday? Same thing where it looked like an inside trip. They just kind of stepped on our foot and got us off balance. Yeah, it was weird. Just picked, oh, and he cradles us. 
But we got off. We rolled through. He might get a reversal. He just whipped a cradle on us and slung us back, but the momentum took us through. We might be able to get a reversal here. No, it's just a one-point escape. That was a quick takedown by Hardy. There, Real Woods is in on a leg right now on the edge, trying to work his own takedown, and he does. Nice comeback by Real Woods here. I think that woke him up a little bit when he, when he locked up that cradle and flung him straight back. I think that woke Real up a little bit. Yeah. 4-3 is the lead for Woods with a minute to go here in the first period. Caliendo is on deck on two where Barnett and Noto are wrestling. Well, meant to go here in the first period. <coughs> this would be big if Rio could ride him out here this first period. Take a 4-3 to three lead with riding time into the second period. And that wrist, Hardy reaches back over into that overhook. Trying to hip into Real. Real still has that seat belt in, so he's still gaining the riding time. 28 seconds to go. Now they stand up and clear out. There's the escape, so we're tied up at four. 20 seconds left, first period. Okay, Zach gets a takedown over there against Waters. Ooh, Bailey with the takedown over there against Crookham. Trying to get an arm bar, reinforced arm bar tilt going too. Woods gonna... tied up at four at the end of one. He'll start down to begin the second. So Bailey ran out of time, so Crookham will get third. There's Hardy trying to throw the leg in. On Real Woods. Real working up to his feet. Trying to peel those hands free. Does for the escape. Keeps that double wrist lock. 5 4 is the lead for Woods. Third place match at 141 pounds. Cardenas of Stanford and Shapiro of Cornell on mat number three. Low single attempt from a ways away by Hardy. We get to a front headlock, circle around behind. Can't keep him down, oh. though. Dive right back in on that leg. Can't get there. Come up into that seatbelt situation. God, I thought we had that takedown, that go behind for sure. We were all the way around behind him, but Hardy did a great job. Scrambled up and squared and kind of just sidestepped out of our grasp. Great effort by Real there. Right on the edge, Woods. It's a stalemate blown. 45 seconds left. 5-4 is the lead for Real. Riding time not a factor. Just seven seconds. Shapiro could Cardenas match could be interesting. That's another rematch. Cardenas won five to four. But both those guys not afraid to get after Real it. Real in on a pins. sweep here. See if he can finish this. Head to the inside. Come up now. Come up. There you go. Keep coming up. Come up. Come up. Hardy doing the splits. Real trying to elevate there this. There you go. See? Come up. Oh, he kind of threw us off balance there as we came up. Stuff in our head. Real trying to elevate again. Short time. Eight seconds left. Hardy trying to turn back into us. Real comes up over the hip. Now he's got the leg up. Trying to dump him down. Looks to cover and cannot Jeez. right before the period comes to an end. So close, Real. Great effort right there by Real. Hardy's going to choose neutral. So Real leads 5-4. Now Barnett trailing 6-3. He's got riding time against him with 20 seconds left. Get another takedown, Real, as there's Hardy drops in on a snatch attempt. Comes up with an underhook. Tries to get down to our leg again, right on the edge. Real trying to reach back. Peels his leg out. They circle out of bounds, head back to the center. Minute 31 to go. 
Kazak, 3-2 lead now in the third period. Noto won that over Barnett. It's a good tournament for Barnett, yeah. fourth in the country. Minute 15 to go, regulation for Woods and Hardy. Woods tries to slide by, or excuse, Hardy tried to slide by, and Woods did a 360 and finally squares back up. And a low single attempt again right on the edge. Woods <laughs> looked like he was in trouble, but somehow was able to sag his hips just enough. I haven't seen any stall calls in this match so far, have you? No. I have not. Caliendo coming out on mat number two, taking on Keegan O'Toole. Caliendo a shot, or excuse me, O'Toole a shot a long ways away. There's Hardy in on a shot on Real Woods. Real's in some trouble right here. Gets taken down. 35 seconds to go. Get out of bounds. They go back to the center. 31 seconds. Real is down 7-5 to five now. Up to his feet. Hardy, we roll, we roll. Dang it, thought maybe we get a chance to get our hips up, maybe get a reversal there. Caliendo gets taken down by O'Toole. Real trying to hit a switch right there, 15 seconds left. Looking for the cradle. Stop the riding time for five seconds. Real seeing if he can get a cradle, five seconds left. Trying to pop that leg out. They stop it with two seconds on the clock. So Real is going to come up short and finish in fourth. <sighs> Another takedown for O'Toole against Caliendo. Telford's going to challenge. What are they challenging? Thinking that Real had that cradle and had him to his hip for the reversal. No. That's the only thing I can think of. I haven't been paying close attention to Caliendo other than O'Toole's taking him down twice and he's got a leg in. I said Caliendo and O'Toole wrestled twice last year. O'Toole winning 8-3 to three and 15-8. Tool lets Caliendo out again with a minute to go, so six to two is the lead. Another takedown over there for Shapiro of Cornell. He leads nine to three. Well, that's big for the team race. Because they got Vito tonight, and he that's a very, very winnable match for him. And Michigan, though, has Gomez and Davison. Davison probably not a chance against Kirkley, but Gomez has a chance against Who's he wrestling? Um, Teamer? Yeah, or no. Um, Henson of Virginia Tech. Yeah, that's a that's a match that they could win or lose. So Escape for Real Woods, but he will lose 7-6. to six. Close out his career in fourth place. Caliendo gets taken down again. He's down 9-2 to two at the end of the first period. Shapiro leads Cardenas 9-4. Kazak leads Waters 3-2. Blood time over there in that one. Griffith of Stanford. Makai Lewis of Virginia Tech. A couple of national champions. Wrestling for third. O'Toole starts down, gets out for the escape, so he leads Caliendo 10-2. Caliendo's a guy, Mark, that we've seen a lot of good things from this year. As there's a takedown, nice, nice go-behind. As oh, They didn't give him that? Uh, Ryan Morristar is not happy about it. There he finally picks him up and pulls him down, makes it 10-5. You know what I haven't seen here ref in this tournament at all is Wedgeberry. 
Yeah. I'm surprised by that. Kazak gets the win. That's a good tournament for Kazak. Come back, get third. Lost in his first match, wins seven straight. But what I was going to say with Caliendo is there he gives up a standing switch and gives up his leg. Reaches back, though, and grabs O'Toole's leg. So he's got the riding time almost down under a minute. Does, gives the escape, so it's 11-5. to five. He's made some progress this year, but hopefully he's seen, you know, taking on O'Toole here, losing three times to Messenbrink, losing to Carr earlier this year. Like, okay, you're close, but what does he need to do to step up to that next level? And hopefully he can identify that and figure out what he needs to do to get himself onto the same level as some of these top guys. Tries hitting a duck, but O'Toole able to clear away from it. God dang. I mean, it's good experience. What's he got, another two years left? Yeah. Some great experience for him. I mean, think about all the guys that are gone. Carr's gone. O'Toole's gone. Messenbrink's back. Griff, um, Olenek's back. Olenek's back. Garvin's back. I guess there's quite a bit back, but it's going to be, should be wide open next year with O'Toole. Well, Messenbrink in there. Yeah. But with O'Toole and Carr gone, that's going to open up a couple of spots there. So, Actually, nice. O'Toole can come. He, O'Toole's only a junior. Really? Yeah. Sheepers. Well, never mind then. Ramirez is a junior. Hamity's a junior. Another takedown there for. Yeah, you think Hamity will stay? At, I I wouldn't be surprised to see Hamity hit the portal. Where do you think he would end up? Well, I mean, you think about it. Car's gone. He could hop on down to Iowa State. They seem to have things rolling down there a little bit better than Wisconsin. Yeah. And I guarantee you, Dresser would find some money for him. Oh yeah. 12-8 is our score right now. After Caliendo lets O'Toole out. O'Toole takes a shot. We down block him. Cornell one and a half points ahead of the Hawkeyes with Cardenas' win. Michigan second with 70. Cornell 68 and a half. Iowa 67. Iowa State 64 and a half. The other Cardenas is out on the mat right now. He's wrestling Buchanan of Oklahoma. No score. Well, I'll take that back. Uh, Buchanan just scored. I don't think Cornell really cares about Iowa right now for third place. Mm -hmm. I think they've got. The, I think they feel that they've got that. They're more so concerned uh, trying to reach Michigan for second. So Tool trying to duck. Caliendo keeps the arm down. He tries his boot scoot. Because if, if if it ends like this, Cardenas is losing and um, Caliendo is losing. Lost, actually, 12-8. to eight. So then they go into the finals, and when they, they, got v, we, they got Vito and we've got Drake. If they both win, Cornell's still in front of us. Right. So Cornell pretty much has third locked up. Have third, they're trying for second. We're trying for probably third. I mean, if Vito somehow, I mean, Vito and Fix, that could go either way. No, but it won't. No, it won't. Vito whooped up on him last year. Vito will, will beat Fix again this year. Well, let's take a quick timeout and wrap things up here from this opening session. We'll be back with more right after this. This is Hawkeye Wrestling from Learfield. Two for two twenty two. Two for two twenty two. Drive home two carousel pre owned vehicles for just two twenty two per month. For the first time ever, get a carousel pre owned vehicle for just one eleven per month. With a payment like that, why not get two for two twenty two? Stuck in a loan or lease? Come see Mr. Vice the Trade Man and get up to three grand over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for your old ride. 
Worried about your credit? Forget it. Carousel Pre-Owned has guaranteed credit approval. Two rides, two twenty-two per month. And if you think you owe too much on your trade, Mr. Vice will give you three grand guaranteed minimum for your trade. So you can drive home in a new ride for one eleven per month, or get two for two twenty-two. But only at Carousel Pre-Owned on Stevens Drive, next to Hy-Vee on Waterfront, or twenty-four-seven at Best Deal Iowa. Com. That's bestdealiowa.com. Offer with approved credit, plus tax tag and $69 documentation. Credit may affect out pay 3300 down. 78 months, 6.9%. Example 2019 versus stock D12036. If you guessed that was the sound of a bag of Pioneer brand A-Series soybeans, you guessed right. Well, kind of. It was really the sound of an innovative team that spent decades perfecting a seed with exclusive genetics and the ultimate agronomic advantage. The sort of breeders who don't rest until they've achieved outstanding performance. Pioneer brand A-Series soybeans. Number one for a reason. Visit pioneer.com slash genetics. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. This is Jordan Sekafetz here for my dad, Brian, and his true blue crew at Dodge Street Tire. If you're wrestling with your car or truck, let their crew take care of you and your family with honest and quality award-winning service. For over 30 good years, Dodge Street Tire have been champions for Hawkeye fans everywhere, pinning down prices and problems for their neighbors. Don't let your vehicle's tires and troubles keep you from achieving your goals. Dodge Street Tire, at the corner of Dodge and Chichit Church Street, a bag of corn is, well, a bag of corn. Unless it's a bag of Pioneer brand chrome seed corn. Then you're dealing with the most optimized yield potential, agronomic performance, and insect protection the Pioneer lineup has to offer. A bag that will make life easier for you. Eight bushels per acre easier. And much harder for rootworms in the competition. Pioneer brand chrome products. Field proven and ready for yours. Visit pioneer.com slash plant chrome. Two for two twenty two. Two for two twenty two. Drive home two carousel pre owned vehicles for just two twenty two per month. For the first time ever, get a carousel pre owned vehicle for just one eleven per month. With a payment like that, why not get two for two twenty two? Stuck in a loan or lease? Come see Mr. Vice the Trade Man and get up to three grand over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for your old ride. Worried about your credit? Forget it. Carousel pre owned has guaranteed credit approval. Two rides, two twenty two per month. And if you think you owe too much on your trade. Mr. Vice will give you three grand guaranteed minimum for your trade. So you can drive home in a new ride for one eleven per month or get two for two twenty two. But only at Carousel Pre-Owned on Stevens Drive next to Hy-Vee on Waterfront or 24-7 at bestdealiowa.com. That's bestdealiowa.com. Offer with approved credit plus tax tag and $69 documentation. Credit may affect out pay 3300 down. 78 months, 6.9%. Example 2019 versus stock D12036. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. Lewis in the third period to win third place there. That's going to really give them a little bit better advantage probably so over uh, That's a Cornell. Point, point there, so they're 70, three and a half ahead. 71. There's Hendrickson getting a takedown to the back. For, uh, against Elam. Elam will pop off though and gets the escape, so that's an eight to one lead now for Hendrickson. Buchanan of Oklahoma leads Cardenas 5 to 2. Munoz of Oregon State leads Berge 7 to 5. Main Street Suites has been serving great ice cream and food in the heart of downtown West Branch for nearly 15 years, offering great burgers, tenderloins, cheese balls and more along with many awesome ice cream treats. Order online, call ahead or stop in to visit Main Street Suites owned and operated by my wife Jessica and me on the web at Main Street Suites wb.com 
Also, Pioneer brand corn hybrids offer or deliver proven performance bag after bag. Contact your local Pioneer sales rep to learn how you can get the most out of your acres. I think that's five X's next to all of those live reads. Nuno's seven six. So what's the key for Drake Ayala tonight, Mark? He's got Figueroa. They wrestled uh, who's number one when they were in high school. Drake wins that one 5-3. to three. They wrestled, I think, at the U21s in freestyle. Figueroa won that one. Um, well, they have a feel for each other then, but I, I don't know. I really don't have a good feel on this matchup. I just I don't know. I, I don't want to say it favors Drake, it favors Figueroa. I don't. I really don't know. I'm going to be sitting here with the headset on watching just like everybody else and curious to see how the outcome, how it comes out. Figueroa, 10-5 and five record this year. Two of those were, or were you know, he defaulted, got hurt and defaulted out of the Midlands and then came back a couple weeks later, won the Pac-12s. He's got wins over Stanich and Caleb Smith. Lost to Provo. Lost to he got majored by Spratley. Lost to Volk early in the year. So kind of an up and down thing. But I mean, he's definitely beatable. There's obviously no doubt about that. But I will say this: he's hot um, right now. He's feeling it. You're at the national tournament. Your ranking, your seed, the. You know who you won or beat or lost to it. You know up to this point doesn't even matter. That's all out the window. Yep. It's a whole new vibe, and Drake's feeling it right now too. And so, I think you're going to see two guys that really want to go out and win a national title. And whoever, I think I haven't seen Figueroa wrestle enough to really know. But I think Drake is a better scrambler. I just. Afraid he might get horsed in a in a situation. Drake has to stay off his back, that's for sure. But I think if Drake can stay off of his back and not give up any near fall points, then I tip my hat to Drake. You give up a set of two near fall points, match over. Union's eight six lead now over Bergie. Hendrickson fourteen to one over Elam. Is that a rematch from earlier, too? I think so. Yeah, 8-1 to one, Hendrickson won that one. As it stands right now, Penn State locked things up early last night. They have 155.5. Michigan at 71. Cornell, 68.5. Iowa, 67. Iowa State, 64.5. Arizona State at 60.5, tied with Nebraska. And then Virginia Tech, 59, Ohio State, 58, Oklahoma State, 56. Iowa State, if they would get a win in the finals from Carr and Drake loses, Iowa State could pull ahead of us for fourth place by a half a point. Yep. And Arizona State, unless, um, well, even if Drake were to lose by pin, Arizona State would not catch up to us. I think it's pretty much locked up, pretty much how it is right there. I think Penn State, Penn State number one, Michigan two, Cornell three, Iowa four, possibly Iowa State four. But I think that's the order you're going to see it in. Nothing's going to change from there tonight. Yeah. I think a lot of things changed here this morning. and But I think that's pretty much where you're going to stand, where it's going to, where you're going to be in the end. Well, tonight's session starts at 6 o'clock, and we're looking forward to it. We're going to start at heavyweight, so Drake Ayala will be second up, and we'll close things out at 197. Mark and I will be on the air with all of the action for you at that time. So until then, we're going to sign off. We'll be back with the final session of the 2024 NCAA Wrestling Championships at 6 o'clock tonight. Until then, this has been Hawkeye Wrestling from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. 
That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. I'm, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, this is Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. iHeartRadio, soundtrack, flashback. Michelle Pfeiffer as a hard teacher? Sure. 1995's Dangerous Minds gave us a new look at the actress with an equally hard soundtrack to boot. Coolio helped kick off the film with Gangsta's Paradise. For more great movie soundtrack hits, check out Popcorn Radio on the iHeartRadio app. Two for two twenty two. Two for two twenty two. Drive home two carousel pre owned vehicles for just two twenty two per month. For the first time ever, get a carousel pre owned vehicle for just one eleven per month. With a payment like that, why not get two for two twenty two? Stuck in a loan or lease? Come see Mr. Vice the Trade Man and get up to three grand over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for your old ride. Worried about your credit? Forget it. Carousel pre owned has guaranteed credit approval. Two rides, two twenty two per month. And if you think you owe too much on your trade. Mr. Vice will give you three grand guaranteed minimum for your trade. So you can drive home in a new ride for one eleven per month or get two for two twenty two. But only at Carousel Pre-Owned on Stevens Drive next to Hy-Vee on Waterfront or 24-7 at bestdealiowa.com. That's bestdealiowa.com. Offer with approved credit plus tax tag and $69 documentation. Credit may affect out pay. 3300 down. 78 months, 6.9%. Example 2019 versus stock D12036. Hey, Iowans. Luca Garza here. For me to get to the NBA, I've worked on my speed, precision, and my shot. For you to get to the NBA, all you need is the Iowa Lottery. First, play bonus multiplier scratch tickets, and you could win up to $100,000. Then, enter non-winning tickets for your chance to win a VIP suite experience with the Minnesota Timberwolves, including food, hotel, and $1,000 cash. Plus, center court seats to see the Iowa Wolves. Enter today and see rules at ialottery.com slash VIP. I'm Patrick Eads, owner of Deary Ford, Iowa City. If you're looking for a great deal on a new truck or SUV, Deary Ford is here for you. With model year closeout pricing on all remaining new 23 F-150s plus 1.9% financing for 66 months plus $2,000. Save thousands on 24 Bronco Sports with 1.9% for 66 months plus $2,000. So when you want a great vehicle and an awesome buying experience, Deary Ford is here for you in Iowa City or online at DearyFord.com. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, you've been listening to Hawkeye Wrestling, presented by Pioneer. Pioneer combines cutting-edge research with one of the largest local testing programs in the industry to help farmers succeed. Pioneer, what's next happens here. Also brought to you by Iowa Corn. You might think Iowa just grows corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Brought to you by Iowa's corn farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and the Iowa Corn Promotion Board. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. And by Hy-V. Score big savings with the new Hy-V Perks membership. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network. I'm vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines. Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. 
Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. What happens when a legend leaves at the top of his game to pursue his own path? In sports, it leads to some of the most memorable moments. And in the world of whiskey, it can create remarkable results. Brian Nation is one such whiskey legend who left a storied career as master distiller for Ireland's most famous whiskey to try his hand here in America and bring innovation to the spirits category. And his first whiskey, Keeper's Heart, is an absolute masterpiece. Keeper's Heart is the world's first Irish and American whiskey, bringing together the very best of these two distinct distilling styles into one celebrated spirit. It's so good, in fact, their 10-year-old whiskey was recently named world's best Irish whiskey by the Tasting Alliance. Based on the awards it continues to bring home, it's unlike anything the world has ever tasted before, in the best possible way. Keeper's Heart brings the boldness of American whiskey and the smoothness of Irish whiskey to create a new experience worthy of the record books. Drink responsibly. Ask Sherwin-Williams during the March Spring Sale, March 15th through the 25th, and get 35% off paints and stains with prices starting at $28.92. That means 35% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And, of course, get 35% off all of our other colors. Shop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. This is your captain. We are going to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please fasten your... Oh, hold on. Just got a video of my cat. Imagine the pilot of an airplane was as confident as you are texting and driving. Seems kind of crazy when you put it like that. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger For the ones who get it done. Ask Sherwin-Williams during the March Spring Sale, March 15th through the 25th, and get 35% off paints and stains with prices starting at $28.92. That means 35% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And, of course, get 35% off all of our other colors. Shop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Carol. She's more focused on hitting a high note than the car in front of her. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates Northbrook, Illinois. Start clean with Clorox. Because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... I got the charcoal mask. Great, because why would I put that on my face when I could drop it in my sink? This is what I get for multitasking. Ugh, why is charcoal so sticky? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Janice. I am so sorry. I thought I was on mute. <laughs> no, we don't need to reschedule. I'll just stay off camera. Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Open the free iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now, commercial-free. 
Free never sounded so good. AM 800 KXIC. Sports.com for details. Go! Check, check, check them out. F. S1. Check, check, check them out. FS1. Welcome back in. It's up on game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm up at Gotta let Ho go real quick. Right let Ho get it real quick. But I'll be hood forever. I'm mm. Sinatra. And, and since I made it there, there, I can make it anywhere. All right, we're live from the Tyrac.com studios. LeVar Arrington alongside TJ Hushmanzada. Plexico Burris is out. That's all right. We're at that moment in time. You know what time it is. It's Cuffs the Legends time. Now. It's time to check in with Cuffs the Legend from Some Dude Show Podcast on Up On Game Presents. Cuffs is giving you his spicy takes on what's going down. I hope you can take the heat like LeBron. Ah. And now, here's Cuffs the Legend. It's go time. Cuffs, 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 Cuffs the Legend. 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 All right, all right. We got Cuffs here from Some Dude Show Up On Game Network. Uh, we got a lot to get to here. I, I should have took us to to our our update, but we'll get we'll get our update at the thirty. Let's get going. I want to get going with you right now, Cuffs. Uh, just out the gate, how you doing? And then, secondly, obviously, what is your take on the tournament so far? Yo, first off, man, I'm I'm doing well, man. Lavar, TJ, man, always happy to pull up with y'all. But look, man. Uh, I'm in here watching the tournament right now, Arizona playing. Ooh. My take on the tournament right now is what is up with all these old men playing college basketball now, man? Mm, so that's like your take have, on it. That's interesting. <laughs> all right, okay. Okay, I see where you're going we with this. Have, LeVar, we have family men. We have guys with full families, baby carriages in their dorm room. We got guys out here that's playing. Like the Jack Gokey kid, right, from Oakland University. We saw him flame broil Kentucky the other night. He hit mm-hmm. 10 threes. This dude, like 30 years old, man, I seen him drinking Metamucil in the huddle during timeouts, bro. Cold. Like this dude, he's 25 years. He is older than Luca. Luca Donich is 25 years old. He's mm-hmm. older than Luca Donich, and he out here. I just think it's funny. I think it's, in all seriousness, I think it's really level the playing field. For these smaller schools, these mid majors, they can hang with the blue bloods now because you can jump in that portal, as we see even in college football. You can jump in that portal. I've had coaches text me in the last couple of days, D one coaches, about the portal. This conversation real. You can jump in that portal now and you can compete with the big dogs now. That's why everybody's bracket is cooked right now. Mm. Except for mine. The it isn't cooked? How many of you didn't call correctly? I, I'm doing pretty good right now because I got UConn winning it all. I just think they're the most complete team. They had the best combination of guard play and size. Uh, Donovan Klingman, he's he's a lottery pick if he comes out this year. I just think UConn has the coaching. Dan Hurley, he's gritty. He's tough. I like that Zona team. Arizona Wildcats are good, too. But um, I, I want to see if Zach Eady and Purdue can finally get over the hump. Like, Purdue basketball, they've been perennial liars for years right <laughs> Perennial. And Matt that Painter all the time mm. yeah they've been lying for a long time man Matt Painter he's won a lot of games speaking of liars John Calipari no okay no. hold up don't even go there yet. no no <laughs> oh, that no. that was my question Cuffs what do you make of Calipari in Kentucky what, what do you make of this oh man I, I've been on the record for a long time I've been a Calipari fan and supporter since the UMass days with Marcus Canby, you know, Lou Rowe in the Final Four. He just had that charisma. Like, I, I liked his charisma. He was a re- he was a recruiter. He When I was a young kid, 15 or 16, I wanted to go to UMass and play for Calipari because it seemed like he gave his guys freedom. He let his guards rock out, his players rock out. But over the years, man, it has not equaled – it has not equated to success. You know, like, he's won games, yes. He's won – one national championship, but I feel like he's underachieved as a coach if you look at all the talent he ha- he's had. Like that John Wall team with Boogie Cousins and Eric Bledsoe that year when they lost 
to um, West Virginia and Joe Missoula was the point guard. He's had too many tournament blunders. Like, he's, he's come up short too many times with the talent he has. Like, if you look at this Kentucky roster, Rob Dillingham is going to go in the top five. Or Reed Shepard is going to go in the top ten. He has multiple lottery picks, the Reeves kid. Uh, DJ Wagner, he might come back for another year. But he has several lottery picks on this Kentucky squad, and they lost to these Oakland guys. And not to take anything away from Oakland, because, yes, they do have some good players on their team. But it's like, it, you're Kentucky, man. Like, John Calipari making nine million smack rules a year, bro. That's a you lot of money. Lo- you can't lose to Oakland. Yeah, you can't lose to Oakland, bro. Kentucky, I've seen a lot of people in the fan base, Kentucky Blue Nation, like, Twitter is going crazy. They're calling for his job. So I don't think he's going to lose his job because the buyout is like 33 or 34 million right now for Kentucky if they were to fire Calipari. But he got a real strong class coming in next year, too, as well. So I don't think they're going to like pull the cord on Calipari because who do you replace him with? You know, who do you really replace him with? You can't replace him with Bruce Pearl. Bruce Pearl, I like Bruce Pearl, but Auburn, you saw them flame out. Charles Barkley was pissed. <laughs> like, I thought Auburn was going to make a run. So we've we seen a lot of these blue buds flame out, man. And um, I, I, I actually love to see it because the parody is, is just fun to watch right now. All right. This is Cuffs the Legend. Um, we're talking NCAA basketball. But on the other side, I, I don't know. We might go NBA. We might stay NCAA. I, I don't know. But what we will do right now is get an update from our guy, Finley. What you got going on? What's going on in the world of sports, sir? Yeah, guys, let's go right to that NCAA tournament. There's one game going on right now on the men's side. Second round, Arizona pulling away from the seventh seed in Dayton. 40-26, to 26, the Wildcats are a two seed. Caleb Love is getting his 13 points so far, and there is under two minutes to play in the first half. So the winner on to the Sweet 16 right now. Caleb Love is putting on a show, no surprise there. Our next game in the second round today would be the 5-4 matchup Gonzaga in Kansas that's at 3:15 Eastern time from Salt Lake City you've got 9 seed Michigan State about to go toe to toe with the 1 seed North Carolina that's coming up just after 5 o'clock on the East Coast Washington State will duel with Iowa State Oakland and NC State in a pair of lower seed schools going head to head for the right to the final 16 Texas and Tennessee another one and Duquesne and Illinois, along with the nightcap. It's 9.40 Eastern time when they will tip it up between Oregon and Creighton. That in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. On the women's side, they're still in the midst of first-round NCAA tournament action, and it's the second day of first-round play. Two games are up and running, and the sixth seed in Tennessee is rooming past the 11 seed Green Bay, 68-44, to under a minute to play in the third quarter there. And the only other game that is up and running is the third seed UConn, and they are taking it to 14 C Jackson State. They're taking it to them. Yeah, they are taking it to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 22 to 8 there. Paige Buker says eight points. So she is leading the charge there for UConn. And guys, one last thing to mention here before I get it back to you. Don't forget at three Eastern time, so in about an hour and a half. Caitlin Clark and the one seed Iowa will be on the court for their first round NCAA tournament game as they take on the 16 seed Holy Cross. Iowa mm-hmm. City, Iowa is where that one will go. And as I send it back to you guys, I know what LeVar had. He had Holy Cross in that matchup mm-hmm. as a 16 seed. I'm going to be watching Caitlin saying Holy S is what <laughs> I'm going to be doing. Her, her ball and shooting self. Um, yeah, we appreciate the update, Finley, and, and that, that's great. Listen, uh, there's so many great things, by the way, and Silk is one of them. The flavors, their nutrition, the recipes. One thing that doesn't get enough attention, well, Silk has shelf-stable options, which will stay fresh without refrigeration until open. So go ahead, stock up, learn more about Silk products at Silk.com. We are joined by the man himself, Mr. Cuffs, the legend from Some Dude Show up on Game Network. We were talking Calipari before we went to, to the break, the update, and, and what that looks like. Uh, let's talk some, let's talk some uh, NBA ball right now. What's, what's the hot topics that, that are, are cir- circulating right now, Cuffs? I mean, it's pretty much the same, same story in the Eastern Conference right now. The Boston Celtics, they won eight in a row. It's looking like it's their year. 
this has to be the year for Tatum and Brown. Porzingis is the X factor. It's looking like we're going to get the Celtics in the in the in the finals. Milwaukee and uh, Boston they had a good game the other night. Giannis wasn't out there, but Middleton showed up. Dame showed up. I think that's going to be the Eastern Conference Finals. The Bucks and Celtics. We're going to get that matchup. Probably go six or seven games. But the real conversation I'm I want to have is uh, I feel like Shea Gilders Alexander. He's he's not going to win the MVP this year. I think Jokic is going to win that. But how can you not how can you not give it to a guy who's averaging thirty points per game? And the Thunder are sitting at number one in the West right now. The West has been a gauntlet all year. It's the toughest conference in the NBA. And he has the OKC Thunder. We expected the Nuggets to be good once again. We expected this from the Nuggets. They're stacked. Best starting five in the NBA. Michael Porter Jr. is playing exceptionally well right now for the for the uh, Nuggets. He's he's understanding his role better than any of these guys right now. But I just want some conversation to happen for SGA, man. I feel like Maybe it's because he's playing in OKC. You know, they don't get the same same media attention. But I I think he's being overlooked in this MVP conversation. Hmm. I really do. Hmm. Who you, so it's going to go to um, to Jokic again? Yeah, I think it's going to go back to Jokic, man. man. He he has been putting up some some monster triple doubles this season he's been doing what he's been doing and it's and he could he could have won it last year he could we could be looking at a three-time mvp right now if mb didn't get it last year but i just think sometimes with his mvp award it just seems like the criteria like what is the criteria that's what the fans want to know it changes like, to fit the, the narrative of what they want it, it to be every yeah, year it changes DJ. every year every it changes. year it changes it normally was the best player on the team that had the best record. That normally who who it would go to, correct? You'd have correct. to have one of the top two records and the best player on that team would get it. And, and so, oh, good. She, good. really, you're saying, Shay, he should be in it for sure. But who has the best record? The Boston Celtics. Why yeah, is it there no, to, why are they about talking about Jason Tatum? I was just about to say, are we going to see a situation in history where we get a co-MVP? We've mm-hmm. seen co-rookies of the years before. I think when Mike Miller won it one time, I forgot who he won it with. But I, we've seen co-rookies uh, of the year before. But can we ever get a tight enough voting where we see it? Because t- you're right, the Celtics have the best overall record, but I just feel like the Western Conference as a whole is tougher. It's a tougher gauntlet because we've seen the Celtics record this year if you look at the Celtics record this year against Western Conference teams, that's the only team they've really struggled against. They've been blowing everybody out in the Eastern Conference. Like last night, they just blowing through the Pistons, these, these weak teams in the East. So I would say the vote I just want to see the voting to be close. You know, I don't want it to see no I don't want the voting to be where it's like they just flat out giving these awards away because like you said, I think the narrative is a popularity contest every year. It's like what fits the description. Because we saw Braun a couple years there where he had better numbers, better record with the Cavs, and they didn't give him the MVP. They gave it to Harden. So we've seen guys get snubbed. But I, I'm loving SGA right now. Hey, speaking of the Western Conference, hey, when you look at the playing game, you could possibly mm-hmm. have Dallas, Phoenix, <laughs> Sacramento, the Lakers, and Golden oh, State. Gosh. Let me repeat that. Dallas, Phoenix, Sacramento, the Lakers, and Golden State. You hear all the star. You got Luka Kyrie. You yeah. got KD and Book. You got De'Aaron Fox a bonus. You got AD and LeBron. You got Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond. Conceivably, those teams can be out in one game. That's a lot of star power. Is there a complete you know- changing of the guard now? with the young superstars that we you just spoke of in Shaw. We didn't speak of Anthony Edwards. Yeah. Uh, Zion Williamson he's looks gone. like he's about to turn the corner. Is it a changing of the guard with the superstars and these young guys kind of taking over for the older players now? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think Adam Silver is sweating bullets right now because LeBron and Curry are still the faces of the NBA along with Kevin Durant. And those guys are sitting there right now pretty much like bubble teams, play-in teams right now. But the one team that nobody 
is talking about right now. The Houston Rockets, Ime Udoka, Fred Van Fleet is leading those guys, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith. The Rockets have won seven in a row very quietly, and nobody's talking Two about the Two games Rockets. out. Two games yeah, they, out. they right there. Look, they right there on the heels of the Golden State Warriors. So, as basketball lovers, we don't really want to see the Rockets get in and the Warriors not get in. We want to see the drama. Like, depending on – it don't matter who you're a fan of. You want to see LeBron and Curry in the play-in game. We've seen it already like two years ago. So, I think that's what we're headed towards, DJ. I think we're going, I think we're going to get that stressful night. It's going to be real stressful for all the fans. We getting it's looking like Warriors and Lakers in that eight that nine and ten spot because I don't really see Sacramento slipping down anymore. I don't see them and Kyrie and Luca right now. Dallas sitting in that sixth slot. They looking like the best duo in the in the world right now offensively. Like nobody's we seeing Kyrie right now. He catching lobs again. He's, He's showing fine. the bounce again. Mm. We we're not used to really seeing Kyrie play above the rim. Like we seen a fast break the other night. Well, Luca threw the lob to Kyrie. Like that's that's exciting for me to watch. Do you think I, we'll ever see? Math. Do you think we'll see Kyrie go to to the Lakers? Do you think that that's a possibility? And I've been putting that into the atmosphere for the past three years. I've been asking Laker Nation to send Kyrie food truck recommendations for years. I've been putting it into the atmosphere, bro, because LeBron wants it to happen. Like I've spoken, like. I've spoken about it. Like, he wants it to happen. He wanted it to happen several years ago. It just didn't work out. The Westbrook thing where they almost traded Westbrook to Brooklyn, that flamed out. It was a couple chances where they could have got Kyrie, here, even at this trade deadline, but it never really worked out. But as far as pure basketball fit, Braun, AD, and Kyrie, we'd be a match made in heaven, and, and we've, seen it. we've seen their chemistry in the Cavs days. And I, I saw some highlights on Twitter just yesterday. They were showing some clips of Braun and Kyrie, and that year they won the chip. And it's like, man, they played so well together because Braun has always loved playing with a a, a a guy that can get it going, like a guard who just electrifying, who can just score in bunches like that. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing with D'Lo right now. Like D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell has turned his entire career around. Now the only question that's left is, will he show up in the playoffs. If the Lakers get in the playoffs, will D'Lo be aggressive like he's been this season? Because his value right now, he's only making $17 million and he's the Lakers' third best player. That's a, the Lakers pretty much got him on a bargain deal. He's not going to give them a pay cut this summer. Mm. That is Cuffs the Legend, y'all. If y'all want to check him out, make sure you go on the IG, look up Cuffs the Legend. He does the Some Dude Show. You can see it on YouTube. You can catch it on Up On Game Network, uh, on Up On Game Presents. Dude, you killed it once again. You said, what, you got UConn winning? I got UConn winning, but, you know, I'm in North Carolina, man, so it's a good time right now. NC State is in there. They played to Oakland tonight. UNC, Michigan State, that's going to be a barn burner tonight, man. Izzo, Hubert Davis, UNC, Michigan State, they match up well, fundamentally sound. I think that's going to be the game of the day. I picked UNC to win it all, so I hope, hopefully they don't let me down and go home today. Uh, we yeah. appreciate you coming on, man. On the other side of the break, we're going to wrap this thing up, put a put a tight bow on it. We're going to talk about Cardinals GM Monty Olsenfort. Uh, he's talking about, you know, enter, entertaining trade offers. Is this the right decision or not? We'll get TJ and my take on that on the other side of this break. This is Up On Game, Fox Sports Radio. From 68 to 1. The shots. Jumper. The defense. Your school. Your bracket. It's what makes this tournament this tournament. From on the court to off. Your NCAA tourney action is covered right here. This is Fox Sports Radio. My name is Chris Riccobono, founder of Untuck It. 13 years ago, we redefined men's casual style with the original Untuck shirt. Over the years, we've applied the same obsession for the perfect fit to pants, polos, and sports coats, to name a few. We've literally got you covered from head to toe. We also have a great women's collection and just launched a big and tall line, too. With 20 new stores planned in 2024, we will now have over 100 globally. Visit us at untuckit.com or one of our many stores.
Progressive presents advice on new teen drivers. You know, the hardest part about oh, teaching your teen to drive is the chafing from the seatbelt. But the best part is the grip strength you build in your knuckles. Okay, now let's pull out of the driveway. Here's another tip. Offset a chunk of the cost of adding a teen to your insurance with Progressive's Teen Driver Discount. And get a break from the break. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates not available in all states or situations. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on the driver who treats the highway like a racetrack and the shoulder like a passing lane. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California, subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates North Park, Illinois. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Start clean with Clorox, because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... Hey, listen, remember how you told me to toss those takeout containers before we left for vacation? And you were like, I'm serious. If that leaks over the counter, it'll be a slimy abomination by the time I get back. And I was like, yeah, 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 of course. Don't worry about it. I won't forget. <laughs> well. Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. Rinse after use if in contact with food surface. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader, like that car riding right your tail. Or if you're tailgating right now, all those cars doubling as kitchens and living rooms are on Auto Trader too. Are you working out and listening to this ad at the same time? Well, multitasking pro, cars like the ones in the gym parking lot are for sale on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navaj helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navaj difference yourself navaj is available at navaj.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navaj nav A-G-E. Show. Make him say. Uh, make him say. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen. We all want confirmation bias. If you didn't think Virginia belonged in the tournament, there's your confirmation against Colorado State. If you thought Colorado State was was underseeded, there's your confirmation. The problem with it is, this is the problem, is we will make the exact opposite argument or we won't make that argument tonight. Like Boise State, they're sitting there going like, man, we're in the Mountain West. Why are we in the play-in game? If Boise gets beaten, they won't get beat. As if they get beat, it won't be as bad as last night. But if they get beat, no one's going to say, hey, Boise didn't belong in because they got beat. That was uh, how the hell they get here. Boy, that was a mistake. And the reality of it is when you have a school that, while they have a gigantic endowment, believes in their academic mission as much as their athletic mission, this is what it looks like. The Doug Gottlieb Show. Weekdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, on Fox Sports Radio. AM 800 KXIC. One more Dan Patrick. That sounds like he might be touchable. One more Colin Cowherd. Be honest about it. How about some more Doug Gottlieb? I want to be your guy who's here every single stinking day. More Fox Sports Radio. Any way you want this, I can make it happen. Then it's yours. All of it. Download the iHeartRadio app and indulge while you do things. Do it. That's a good thing. This is Fox Sports Radio. Uh, 
FS1. Call your friends and ask how they do it. To find FS1 on your television, go to foxsports.com for details. Boom. Trust your eyes. FS1. Welcome back in. It's up on game. We're live from the Tyrac.com studio. It's TJ Hushman, uh, Hushman Zada. I'm, I'm LeVar Arrington, and uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. Plex is off today. Um, before we get up out of here, I, I mentioned the Cardinals. The GM, Monty Ozenfort, said um, that they'll listen to trade offers at the number four pick. And all, the reason why that conversation has been ensuing is because they are comfortable right now with, with Ky, uh, Kyler Murray at, at the quarterback's position, TJ, and don't need a quarterback, but everybody is jockeying for position to get the quarterback. Now, here's the interesting scenario, and I'm going to turn it over to you. The, the Chargers do not need a, a quarterback either. And they're right after the Arizona Cardinals. If I'm the Arizona Cardinals and you're not the best team out there right now and you're in need of helping Kyler Murray out, I'm saying it's a no-brainer. I'll entertain trade trade picks and all that stuff and the value of it. But let's be clear. Marvin Harrison Jr. is a generational talent at the receiver's position he might even be better than his dad. And I just don't see why man, you, you would pass. I don't, bro, he's good, man. I've seen them both play in person. M- Marvin Harrison Jr. is the real deal, dog. All by himself. You that's just, just my said, take on him, though. That's just that's one man's opinion. He might be better than his daddy. He might be better. Oh, he's he better than yet. his dad coming out of college. And he is yet to catch a pass in a national football He league. is better than his dad coming out of college. I didn't I say mean, he's a better pro, but if, if I'm a if I'm gonna put my money on it, why would I pass up on that type of a talent? Do you do it? Sounds like you you do it. So if you're the the, the uh the Cardinals, do you trade away the pick and hope that you get a receiver? Because I'm a, I'm assuming they're gonna take a receiver with their pick. I mean but they could take a lineman. If you can accumulate picks, of course you do. Uh, if you can trade that fourth pick and, and get two first round picks, I'm doing it. Hmm. Why? Why wouldn't you? Because I just think he's a can't miss. I feel like he's a can't miss. And uh, while I may get one, I might move further. You know, there are many. There, there, there's many people that that are. Big decision makers that believe Neighbors is the best receiver. Yeah, I in the think draft. that's. I mean, there, you know, just because they, they big decision Adulze. makers don't mean they right. I'm right. just saying. The, the, I've seen this man play. You've seen them multiple all times. You saw. You've seen them all play. Maybe not I, in person. I've seen right. I've seen them all play, but I've seen this in person. I just don't like. He he's changing my team day one. He's changing my team day one. You going a little like? He's changing my team day one. Nah, nah. He he he's really really good. But if you're the Cardinals, you really if you can trade that pick and like I said, get two first rounders. It, it okay. is do do you really think there's a huge difference? Between Harrison Neighbors or Dunze, huge difference. I think difference. there's a bigger. I think there's a big enough gap. I think there's a big enough gap where you keep your pick and you pick. So Harrison. if 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 you're the Cardinals and you believe that's the case at what you're saying, you draft them. That's what I. That's if, what I'm if, saying. If you, that's if what you I don't. Think. If you don't think there's that huge of a gap, then you don't. Well, I think no, that's. You, I think you that's don't sensible. Do it. But you, then you now he ends it. up. He ends up in. And <laughs> he ends up with the Chargers. And, that's and just, how amazing uh, is that? And that would just be, that would be, if he, and this is how, you know how the draft works, LeVar, I don't have to tell you this. These decision makers almost are forced into taking guys because if that guy turns into that guy, you may lose your job. 
if you pass on them. And, and so that that's the biggest thing that that they are afraid because everybody is saying Caleb Williams should be the first pick. You better draft the one. Everybody is saying Marvin Harrison should be the first receiver off the board. He better be the first receiver off the board. You go against that, and they turn into and that's crazy because I think Jaden, I think Jaden has to be in the conversation for now. Now it's too much pressure to take Caleb in Chicago. Too much pressure now to do it. They got to do it. It's impossible. They it's locked in. You, you can't. You can't do LeVar, it. Lavar, if Caleb Williams is a good player. Every decision maker in Chicago will be looking for a job. Mm. They will be looking for a job unless whoever they decided to take turned out to be a good player themselves. It's so. I'm hearing JJ McCarthy it, may end up climbing the board high enough to possibly go before Drake May. I'm biased, man. I'm biased. I spent a lot of time with Jaden. I spent a lot of time with JJ. I spent a lot of time with uh, Michael Penix. And so I'm biased to those three guys. I really spent a lot of time with Kayla Williams at the combine. So it is hard for me because when I meet a guy and I like him as a person and then you see him on the field working, you, you just tend to kind of favor the guys, you know, so in those situations, I'm, I'm somewhat biased. I get it. I get it. I think Jaden Daniels is, is, is a guy. And I think that's going to play out, but we'll see how it all plays out. Listen, Jonas Knox show is coming up next. Make sure you stay tuned in for that. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you missed anything, make sure you check out the podcast. It will go up immediately after the show has concluded. Make sure you enjoy your Saturday. Make sure you enjoy these NCAA tournament games. That's what you're doing. And you know what? Make sure you tune in to Up On Game next week. It's Fox Sports Radio. You take it easy. We are. Hey, it's Jonas Knox. You know our trusted partner, TireRack.com, for their fast, free shipping, free road hazard protection, convenient installation options, and their great selection of the best tires, like the highly consumer-rated Bridgestone Weatherpeak. But did you know they sell other automotive products, wheels, brakes, and suspension, just to name a few? Everything you need to elevate your drive. Go to TireRack.com slash sports. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. Traveling to see your favorite team? Pro tip, stay at Graduate Hotels. They're obsessed with college sports just like you. Each Graduate Hotel is like a shrine to the local team with lots of cool details for alumni, nods to school colors, mascots. Why would you stay anywhere else? They have 30-plus hotels in all the best college towns. And get this, you can get up to 30% off with code CRSHOW. That's CRSHOW. Good at any Graduate Hotel, any location, up to 30% off. Book today at graduatehotels.com. Spearless Voice in Sports is on FS1. The one and only Colin Cowherd is bold, unique, and outspoken. Wow. You can see him on The Herd weekdays at noon Eastern on FS1 in the Fox Sports app. There are some shows you don't want to miss. Anyway, it's a big story. And there are some shows you can't miss. Yes. This is Cavino and Rich. Like, I remember, we all do this. We make some sort of speculation. It's just human nature. It doesn't make you a bad guy. I remember watching the Teofimo fight against Cambosis, and I'm thinking to myself, man, this dude's done. He, why is he sucking so bad? Man, I don't know. Even Teofimo at the end of the fight was like, yo, is that it? Am I done? Have I lost my steam? I don't know. Do I still got it? As a fan. You were watching that fight like, man, I think he lost a step or something's wrong or what happened to this dude? So a lot of people, including myself at that moment, prisoner of the moment, counted him out. Turns out he had like liquid in his lungs. Like he had uh, something going on internally that nobody was aware of. And he could have actually died I, in the I mean, ring. And that is what hindered his performance. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's fair to not necessarily jump to conclusion, but make an assumption and that's what we all did. Turns out, again, he was, like, very sick. Of the a lot of times fans are really crappy to a player. And then they realize, oh, wow, he was playing through a major injury. Dude, how much flack did we give back in the day guys like Chuck Knobloch as a Yankees fan? Look, as a Twins fan, like our boss, everybody remembers the all-star Chuck Knobloch. Man, this dude, he's the all-star. He's the future of second base. He goes to the Yankees. He forgets how to throw. And everyone's like, man, he stinks. Oh, you suck. Yo. And then you come to find out 
Hey, this is Cheech. And this is Chung, and you're listening to Covino and Rich. So listen up. To get the rest of what Covino and Rich said, podcast it by searching Covino and Rich. And as always, you can hear Covino and Rich weekdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports Radio. This is the Jason Smith Show <laughs> with Mike Harmon. Pro Days, honestly are incredibly overrated. The only way pro days mean something is if is if someone goes and struggles. Because if you struggle against air, I don't know, man. I, I think you're going to have problems if you're struggling against air. But what did people say? Look at the throws Caleb Williams can well, make. Look at sa- he threw it over a mountain. That's great. Hey, you know who also made a throw like that a couple years ago? Zach Wilson made throws like that. He He's made unbelievable throws. Trey Lance made throws like that at his pro day. These guys, oh, yeah, when you're throwing against air and you're running to the right and you're throwing a dime all the way back to the left, oh, my goodness, wow, that looks so good. Yeah, you're supposed to make these throws. But what happens when you get out there? Look at the tape. People get, that's why people get so caught up in J.J. McCarthy. You're listening to Jason Smith with Mike Harmon. Weeknights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports Radio. Hello, is this on? When sports needs that voice of reason. Dude, you can't do that. Only one show is up to the challenge. You won't be disappointed. It's the odd couple. Chris Broussard. I was a star. Bad book. Slam it. Rob Parker. I don't care what Vegas says. They're the odd couple. Oh. I'm just saying he's okay to be the backup. No, he's not. Putting the sensibility back in sports. The players have a right to be who they are. Weekdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Right, right here on Fox Sports Radio. <laughs> FS1. Looking for the one, what you looking at the one? To find FS1 on your television, go to foxsports.com for details. FS1. Looking for the one, what you looking at the one? what you need to know. Arizona basketball fans are enamored. They're fawning over the play of Caleb Love and what he's doing for the Wildcats in their second round NCAA tournament game against Dayton. Ends up in the hands of Love on the right side. Shot clock at 10. Love right wing going to put it up and it's good from three. Caleb Love with three threes and 13 points. Westwood one on the call. Love has 13 points early in the second half now and Arizona is in front 43 to 37. About 17 minutes to play in regulation. That next game is coming up in about an hour and 15 minutes second of eight ncaa tournament second round games of the four five matchup kansas against gonzaga on the women's side already finishing in their first round and this is all first round action on the women's side tennessee beating green bay 92 to 63 right now page beckers and yukon leading jackson state at the half 49 to 28 i'm brian fenley Better start from the beginning. Jonas Knox. You thought you knew me. You didn't know a thing about me. He's crazier than a house rat. That guy. Jonas Knox. You heard me. What are you, a parrot? <laughs> the Prince of Darkness is lighting up your speakers to establish an alibi for the day. Live from the Tyrac.com Fox Sports Radio Studios, here's Jonas Knox. Did you have to say okay? I'll be part of this world. You know, it's a little funny. For some reason, we conveniently forget a simple truth every single time around this time of the year. And I'll explain what that is coming up here in just a couple of moments from now. Jonas Knox, Fox Sports Radio. You can listen to the show, as always, on the iHeartRadio app. You can find us on hundreds of affiliates all across the country, wherever the hell you are, making us a part of your Saturday morning into the afternoon. We appreciate you doing so. We are going to take you all the way up until 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 o'clock Pacific, and we do it all live from the TireRack.com studios. TireRack.com will help you get there. An unmatched selection, fast, free shipping, free road hazard protection, and over 10,000 recommended installers. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. You know, every single time this year we watch March Madness and we watch the NCAA tournament and something crazy happens, and every single time this year we're shocked. And some of the shock leads to, like, 
outrage, hot takes, like so-and-so should be fired, they should get rid of him, uh, he can't coach in March, blah, 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 blah. It's like the same thing that happens every single time, yet we're stunned by it when it does. It's like that food you love, but you know every time you eat it, it's going to make you sick the next day or going to make you sick right afterwards. Or you're going to have some sort of a stomach issue or a more frequent bowel movement or worst case scenario, you know that you're it's basically you're rolling the dice. You're playing with fire the next morning if you eat such and such. But you know what you always do? You always eat it. Like, eh, man, spicy food kills me. Like, I cannot have spicy food. It just, I mean, it, it just destroys my stomach. It just, what do you think about eating tonight? I don't know. You guys like Indian? Yeah, it's a good idea. Like, you know what the end result is. Like, you know how this is going to go, but you still do it. Man, if I eat too much ice cream, just destroys me. The whole, I mean, I, I feel sick. I'm not, like, I just, it just not good for me would you guys like to see the dessert menu absolutely like you know what's gonna happen but you do it every time like you, like you, you know the end but you do it every time it's like we know crazy stuff is gonna happen in the ncaa tournament and every time we react as if it's a stunner like the, people calling for John Calipari's head. Oh, John Calipari should be fired. Kentucky lost to Gabal. Oh, this is, I mean, dude, this is what happens in this tournament. Like, this always happens. Can you find me one tournament in the history of this tournament in which every higher seed won every single game? Like... Every year, doesn't it seem like, well, you know, a 12 beat a 5. Can you find me a year in which every favored team, every team that had a better seed, won every single game? It doesn't happen because the tournament is this. This is the result every year. It's why I've said this before. Every t it's, the, it's the most difficult championship to win because it's a one-game playoff. There is no home court advantage. And you're just not really sure who's going to have the hot hand. Like you just, you're not. Like in every other sport, it's like, like the Celtics in the NBA. Magic numbers down to two to have home court advantage. Every single series that they play in the playoffs, they are going to have home court advantage. And it's home court advantage on their actual home court. In college basketball, you know what your home court advantage is? Congratulations, you're the top seed in your region. Here's your advantage. Yeah, what's that? You're going to be in the vicinity of where you normally play. Oh, that's cool. Like, Arizona's a really good team. They're winning right now. They're beating Dayton. Guess where the Final Four is? It's in Arizona. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, you just got to win like four games against opponents you probably don't know that well in like a different part of the country to get that. Like, th there is no real advantage. So like when something crazy happens, like Oakland beating Kentucky, everybody freaks out. John Calipari should be fired. You had a guy off the bench hit 10 threes, okay? <laughs> like, if he like just had hit a meager eight threes, Kentucky wins that game. But he hit 10 threes... And you end up winning a, like it, this. This is what the tournament gives us every year. Like Wisconsin, like lo look like a bag of crap last night. Like it just like this happens every single year. Yet we react like, oh my god, and I cannot believe this. It's like, dude, this is the tournament. This is why we like the tournament. But this is the end result. Like I love spicy food. I love Indian food. I like ghost peppers. I like my wife's in-laws, they're Mexican. Guess who has the hottest plate every single time we're out? I do. Love spicy food. You know what I also acknowledge? It's a problem the next morning, especially after a cup of coffee. Like, you know, like it, it could go from if I wait 60 seconds longer, it goes from using the restroom to changing my socks.
is what it is. But every time I go back for more, and that's what we get with the NCAA tournament. Jonas Knox here, Fox Sports Radio. Get me on Twitter, at the Jonas Knox, at the Jonas Knox. All right. Let me just go ahead and give you my theory on one of the newest scandals in the world of sports. All right. This is great. So Shohei Otani, you know, they're working with the, uh, the authorities, handing over evidence. The Dodgers had to fire his interpreter because there was like this alleged theft to where he was stealing millions of dollars and using it to pay off his gambling debts. Like all of that stuff that happened, like with Shohei Otani. And listen, you know, people are looking at this going, oh my gosh. So here, here's my theory. So I think either the new story of theft from his interpreter and st- I think it's either that or I think Shohei Otani was just a really good friend paying off somebody's gambling debts or he's just a degenerate gambler himself. All right. Now, there are some stuff here that doesn't really add up as we've seen things unfold, like the most notably being the guy told one story after he was instructed to. And then came back after the fact and told a completely different story. Like, the first story was, he, Shohei's a good friend, he's paying off my gambling debts, and then he comes back afterwards and says, no, 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 scratch that, scratch that. He had no knowledge of this stuff. And, he, and so then you start to look a little bit deeper into it, and you go, so how would a guy on his salary get that much of a credit with a known bookmaker, unless that bookmaker also knew that that money was coming from a good place, from, you know, a guy who makes millions upon millions of dollars. And this was even before the $700 million contract he got from the Dodgers. Like, there's just some stuff here that didn't add up. Like, there's some stuff here that just, you know, doesn't really doesn't really line up when you look at the stories. And I just keep coming back to, to my original thought when all of this came out. If... He paid off this guy's debts, as he said, and then they realized afterwards that's a bad look because basically you're knowingly dealing with a a gambler and a a guy who's a bookie and all that, and you can't really do that in California, which is a whole other conversation. The fact that California doesn't allow sports betting, like, you guys ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I say you guys because I voted the other way. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourself. The fact that you don't allow sports betting. Because why would you want that what, that much money in the economy? Why, why would you want a boost to the economy? God forbid. But that's a whole other story. But like, you know, he's knowingly transferring money and then maybe they're not reporting it to the IRS. And like, so that, yeah, that's, that's kind of a bet. But let's just say it's the worst case scenario. And he likes to gamble a little bit. Who cares? Like, you know, like, like it's a, oh my gosh, did you hear? Shohei Otani likes to gamble. Neat. What's the big deal? Like, I can understand the, the legality of it from, A, you know, if he didn't report it to the IRS and all this stuff, and, you know, he didn't realize, like, I, 